Okay, before okay, we start, do you know way. the rules of the tournament? I mean, the tournament and the scream skater. Do I know the rules? Uh, yes. Tell me the rules. Okay, every game is best of five. And okay. after a champion is picked, it cannot be picked for the rest of the series. Doesn't Ooh. matter if your team or enemy. Like, if enemy team picks Kai'Sa, I know Kai'Sa and Nautilus, the next game, Kai'Sa and Nautilus are both, like, not viable to pick. So, okay. game five, we are gonna play this game, no matter the score, up to game five, to test out the draft. Yeah. Uh, and after, like, you know, game five is gonna be, like, 40 champions are banned, like, Baus has no Sion, no Ramus, no Queen, Jokil, no Yasuo, no Camille, no J J Yone. And they have to, like, improvise. Also, Drew to face reveal, guys, but in the middle top. Who we got? So we got Zukil, Kesha, Neme, Dealers, Netherim, Baus, Dantes, Yamato. Dantes is doing himself a speech. Reptile, Azap. Yeah. Oh, you're... What are your predictions for game one? Like, full score? Uh, I think roster two will win. The one with Baus and Dantes? Yeah. What is your prediction score? 3-0, Baus team. Now you're coping, bro. My money is on Zukil, Nemesis team. 3-1 for them. They will stomp. You haven't seen... Dante's Rengar yet. You don't know. You don't know how to expect. Oh yeah, I've... when they play Hecker in one game, it's yeah. And then he has to play like Belved, etc. Yeah, but if Kesha, wait, it's gonna be Nunu versus Hecker in game one, and then it's gonna be like Soraka versus Sona game two in the jungle. No, maybe he will save the Nunu after the Hecarim. Maybe he has a counter pick for Hecarim because Hecarim will stomp Nunu. Yeah, true, true, true. And, and don't forget on the actual tournament, if you're a little silly, you could like take away a champion. Like, I don't know, you're against Jukil, you just first pick Yone, like as your team, and mm -hmm. then he can't play Yone any anymore for the rest of the series. So mm -hmm. it's actually a viable strategy. I don't think they will do it on screens, but in general, I know, for example, that Reptile has been practicing a of Yone ADC lately. So I know what might happen this game. Wait, they're called T1 and T2 for Team 1 and Team 2? Yeah, sadly Riot was too lazy to name them after their actual teams. So they're called... So I have to see T1 Zukil, T1 Nemesis? Yes. Okay, there we go, there we go. Ready? We're in order. Ready? Half an hour late. Okay, boys, draft. First game. First game draft. Joe? Joe? Are we ready? Wait, are they allowed okay. to ban things? They are not allowed to ban a first game, and after every game, they ban champions that haven't been, like, you know, picked. Okay, we are in draft. There we go. If you can if you can fearless draft the hell out of them, first pick Yone on blue side, or first pick Sion. No, no. Or they, first pick Hecarim. L5 can't play Yone. So it's like, I mean, ah, it's viable, but, but, like, not, like... Do you really want to see Baus Yone or Yamato Yone? I've seen Baus. I've seen Baus Irelia, bro. Baus Irelia goes hard. Oh yeah, the twenty nine percent AP Irelia that goes hard, goes hard so so much that it's, she has like ten perma bans on it. I can listen into comms through other people's streams and th tell you what they're thinking. Oh yeah, that's why. I can tell you, it's really interesting. Dantes is telling his team about the book that he read last night, so their draft seems to be on point. I just heard from uh, some intel here, Malkai Poppy or champions that uh, Kesha's team might be looking at. They, they might are be really thinking good. about They are really good. They, they, they cock the champions at Dante's place, especially Poppy. He plays like yeah. Red Velvet. They ruin those. You're about to see the first pick from Losing Peace. What is Jukil gonna first pick? Is it gonna be just blind Yone knowing that Baus doesn't really have a response besides Ramos? And they could draft a comp to counter it anyway. Bro, you got the draft. Normally I can do pro play drafts, but these are all just like uh, super high, low one tricks that play other champs. I know Baus's pool, I know Zukil can play a mean Yasuo, and he's well, got a good Camille. They, pi they picked a champion, but we don't see it suddenly. <laughs> a champion has been locked in, okay? That's all that matters. Let me catch up on my intel here. It is Yone. I've just been confirmed that it, that is Yone first pick. Okay, Raiden has it. been first picked for a Jokil. Nothing surprising. Okay, the one trick is locked. Is, is T1, uh, T2 T going to respond with Sion Hecarim? I think we've got a Ramus lock in there. I see a ghost. Is that that's Baus Ramus. Yeah, that's a Ramus. If... Okay, there we go. We are back. Ramus Nunu. That's probably Ramos one of the hardest Nunu. one twos I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that is a crazy one two. Oh my god. Now, are we gonna get. Wait, they de... wait, they denied the Nunu. I just realized. Oh, they stole... we... <laughs> we need a catcher no, reaction no, cam. No, Catcher's no, panicking. He's panicking. He's gonna go Maokai. He's gonna go Maokai, he thinks. No, he's leaving We're... Maokai in the... He's taking Hecarim! Okay. He's gonna deny the Hecarim! <laughs> he's left his chair. He's he's left his chair. He's losing his mind. <laughs> he's... He's what the fuck? <laughs> it's Dante's first Kesha, but the, the champions are reversed. The <laughs> And Nemesis... Okay. Nemesis picking Syndra. He Hard... brings back peace and order. He Hard... brings back peace and order. Hardcore counter to both Nono and Ramos. Oh my god! Oh my god, is it gonna 
gonna be the void walker. Is it gonna be the void walker for No way! Yamato! Yamato! No, it's so bad. It. It's so bad. No, don't do it. The balance do of it. power must be preserved. Come on. Don't do it. No, oh, it's action! Action! Really should he's be going into Sindra though. Yamato, action pick. Oh! Action into Syndra. Not the best champion choice. I play for a bit of action. And let me tell you, it's not the most optimal champion you can pick into Syndra. I do not like it at all. It's dice uh, of cringe. That's what I call it. This is just dice of cringe if he was going to pick Cassidy. So at least he picked action. How is Cassidy dice action. of... That's Syndra bully... Cassidy... Ca no, Cassidy is just a cringe champ. You can't wake up in the morning and tell me after your breakfast you think about playing Cassidy. Like, you can't be honest with me and tell you enjoy the game if you just like sitting on the tower getting bullied for 15 minutes. Okay, what champ do you play then? What champ do you play if you find Cassidy cringe? Okay, Hitler. I play Lee Sin, bro. Lose all... the game, win the game, level three. Don't worry about okay. it. I've got. Don't worry about my champion ocean. Yeah, if I was in here, five special champs every game. Yo, I definitely really... wouldn't pick away Kesha's Nunu and try to first time it as a heck, as a hacker OTP. And I definitely wouldn't take away hacker as a Nunu OTP and try and first time it. I can tell you that for a fact. Well, I can assure you, both teams don't have a jungler this game, which is really nice because Kesha for sure has no fucking idea what to do on Hecarim. Nor does Dante's on Nunu, so we are gonna see. <laughs> if I was Nemesis, I would say to Kesha, yo, listen up, buddy. You're gonna get some kind of like font of life, a Moonstone Hecarim build going. You're gonna get like redemption and shit. Like some Aftershock in there, full tank. I would I... not trust this guy to play Muramana, Triforce Hecarim first time or something. I am getting intel right now that Kaidral has a nasty Malzahar. Is that true? My Malzahar is deadly, but... Uh... I can also play. The thing is, I can flex that to five rolls as well. <laughs> I just got Intel as well that Kesha is on Blitz.gg, exclamation mark Blitz, checking builds for Nunu. I mean, for that, uh, for Hecarim. I think this top matchup is going to be the best place to look. Ramos. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, this this entire like matchup the well -known is top counter. Line. Yeah, I mean, Azap, Velkos, no surprise. No surprise to anyone. Netherim, Thresh. You see, these people are. This is what I call the handshake draft. You're a one trick, I'm a one trick. Let's play one tricks, you know? Let's not fuck ourselves and kid ourselves around that we can play Nunu and we can play Hecarim. You know, gentleman's agreement top, gentleman's agreement bot. Wow, that Jungers are gonna run around my... like absolutely Wait, generous. Kedral. Nila! 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 Nila Draft counter done. pick! Nila counter pick! They have four, Nila counter four, picks what? They have four auto attack champions into Nila, but he, does he know that Syndra just shits on her? Well, we are gonna see some spicy Nila action. Such an amazing champion. I Barely don't think drafted. anything matters. You know what I think matters? It's jungle. It's it's the Dante's no skin Nunu, Bro, the Kesha no exist. skin Hecarim. They don't Both of them don't exist. What yeah, do you mean that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty, you know? Because it's not about making plays in jungle. It's about not inting the whole fucking game away and solo losing it. And which one of them is gonna go in bot and try to gank and die. That's, we, that's what we need to know. We're gonna need a fucking camera on the top lane at all times. Let me tell you that. So... We did. I would love camera on jungle too, because I want to see <laughs> Baus proxying that motherfucker, and then I want to see a top gank from the Hecarim or or, or whatever, and then him dying to it. <laughs> Netherim and Alza respecting each other. Meanwhile, Kesha and Dante's D D D D. <laughs> should we should we make a bet? Bet on what? Who wins? I bet you ten gifted subs. One of these jungers will gank a lane and die. Okay. Uh... Like, you mean just, like, die on a gank, but, like, 2v1? Yeah, they'll die 2v1 or 2v3. They'll just go in and die. Okay, I bet they won't. I just heard some leaked strategy. Do you want to hear the leaked strategy? Okay, leak it. Nemesis has said, Kesha, Kesha, Kesha. This is all quoted. Just full clear, don't gank anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jukil and Nemesis are gonna for sure have prior 24-7 against those players. So, yeah, they're gonna be fine. Dante, Dante's flaming Kesha for Conqueror on Hecarim. That's a really good start. There we are. Into the game we go. There's already 32 kills and 15 deaths. We got first blood onto the Nidalee. <laughs> Looks sick. <laughs> yeah, what the no. fuck? Ni Nidalee insane. I mean, that's small bug. Joe will fix it in a second. Yeah, Joe is going to cook it up. So we got face rush on the Nunu. He's playing the Kesha skin as well. Conqueror Hecarim. What are your, uh, what are your opinions on, uh, on who's going to win? Who do you think is going to win? Bro, uh, losing peace fucking curb stumps them, with, like, with zero effort. The draft... You think losing peace clears? Yeah, L5 has such a shit draft. Like, unless Bowser just goes morb mode and Syndra somehow isn't, like, four items. Yeah. Yeah. Guys, yeah. Joe is fixing hard. Give him, give him second, okay? 
Yeah, he's, he, we we all know everyone's zero zero right now. Yeah, I want to see the clear. I think I'm echoing in your mic again. You're not. Or I can hear it at least. You're a okay. crazy. So Yamato's death mains the, the action, right? He mains assassins in general, but he plays action. But his action is way worse than mine. Okay. You can see Baus doing the efficient start. He never buys Doran's items. He says that Doran's items are the biggest bait ever. You can't build them into you know, items, like full legendary yeah. or mythic, and they just stagnate your, like, you know, uh, mid game spikes. So he never builds Doran items. So you can see Cloth Armor, very cocky into, into Joe Kill. Joe Kill obviously starting with the blade. Yeah, yeah. We got, a, we got a full clear coming out from both junglers. Dantes went for the red start on Nunu. And uh, Kesha went for the raptor start. Now Kesha can look for a level 3 bot gank here. He needs his bot lane to be level 2. So Ward in Tribush though. That's going to be a bit tricky. But I uh, hope he just goes for a full clear. I mean, I think both mid laners gave very confident comps to their team. Just full clear. But uh, now I'm witnessing a level 2 Nunu run into the topside river. Dante's on the, Whoa, on the... We can look, look, action, no, no, invading level two, level three. This is some good uh, strats. This reminds oh, me of Faker and owner with the invade to the MSI. Oh. Is he dead though? The flash knock up no, from Dante's on the no, new new. Yamato into they can't the get him. Yamato the hook. Yamato the hook. Yamato the Oh no. my god, you kill on the collapse. Level three with level tempo. All he has is to just stack it. He's playing really the slow, but. Oh my god, Ooh. wait! Wait, he can extend! No, 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 he shouldn't take this, he shouldn't take this. That's risky. Need to go back mid. I... I... Is he gonna... Oh, no, he's gonna cancel. Almost, almost, almost cancelled. He cancelled He cancelled Level... No, he cancelled it. No, he did. Le level 2 Nunu. On the ganks. Uh, Bro, jungle's jung over, isn't it? Jungle Kingdom. Dante's getting gapped by Kesha. His main champion. Jokil wave state is horrible. That bow's already up 8 CS in this matchup when it doesn't mm. get better. The second he gets Bramble, there's nothing Yone can do anymore. Jokil was spikes. actually in my DMs today asking for Ramus counter picks. So he's really he was... scared of it. What are your conclusions? What are your Ramus counter picks? Alright, let's do it. I won't say because it would be a leak. Some small trade going in the mid lane, half HP. Okay, okay. Netherim. Gravity. Did I tell you or did I tell you? Did I tell you or did I tell you? No, did I tell no. you or did I tell you? Stage, I told stage, you. Stage, Ten gifted subs. Stage, Ten gifted subs. Stage, 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 I knew it. I knew it. They would gank a lane and die in a 2v3. I fucking called it. Paid actor. Paid actor. Oh my god. Like Dante. Like okay, we, have a we got an instant replay. <laughs> an instant replay. Dup. Oh. What the hell? No, no, what no, echo ulted. In what the same play. <laughs> what the hell? The Canadian jungler. 20 what CS down fuck? to the Hecarim. I didn't know Dante's Nunu could teleport. <laughs> yeah. That's some click. But you see how Kesha is winning the game by not doing anything? Dante's invaded, fell behind, di died bot. And Kesha's just cleared camps, played PvE, and he's winning. Okay, let's be honest, Pedro, they had to invade with this comp, like. Syndra as into like their short range comp in engage. Another Here he goes coming again. in. Thresh Here he goes has again. no flash. Thresh has no flash. Huge Ooh. snowball hit. Joy unceasing and forever. That's a fucking kill on Nila and that's their win condition. Let's go. The ball has been rolled. Big plays there from the jungler of T2. Let's see if T1 can respond because Kesha's just clearing. He's just clearing out the camps. Yamato currently completely getting stomped by Nemesis, down CS, down first strike gold in a scaling matchup. Yeah, yeah. Wait, he might get solo killed soon. Oh, Ooh. he's dead. And that's a solo kill on Yamato by Nemesis. Holy mid gap. Mamma mia. Mamma mia pizzeria. T1, bro. I mean, they made world finals last year. They're in form still. Mid push for Nemesis. Easy clap. Mid's over. Jungle's over. And bot's even. <laughs> I think Kasadin would kill there. Is that a top dive? <laughs> Kasha's feeling it. He don't know his limits though. He don't know his limits. He doesn't know what his champ does. Oh, two kill. Oh no! my god, it's the best. Yes! Oh, we got him. Worf. 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 Worf for Jukil. Holy moly. Worf. Yo, 
Babus, I feel like every single one of his champs are undiveable. Sion. Oh, Yamato about to be killed again. Insane hook Ooh. by Nenarim. Good luck there. No Yam Yamato has hook and flash. I think he's fine. His cocky movement. He wants to go for the kill. He's gonna eat forwards. Can he get him? On the reset. No Where's he gonna put the hook? Where's he gonna put the hook? Is he out? Nemesis has not, no boots. Not. Yamato has boots. He can run. Oh, the stun. Kasadin the escapes stun. there. The stun. Kasadin, Kasadin does escape. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Kasadin Look at jungle. I'm, I'm <laughs> seeing a Nunu with plated steel caps. I told you. He told him to just go full tank. Yeah, then why does he have phase rush and not aftershock? Because maybe he would miss the Ws on 100 ping. Fair enough. Okay, some trading happening in the top lane. Bows Pope goes. The Jukil has tempo stuck. Oh. This is the problem, you know. A Balsi in the solo queue games, he's underneath your tier 3. He can't do that in pro play. Are you really calling this pro play, bro? Yeah, this is pro play. What are you talking awesome. about? Awesome! happening in the bot lane. Alzheb, insane chunk! Oh! oh. Apocalypsis! I don't know Nila's ult name, but she's gonna fall down. Apoc Apocalypsis! That's not how you spell it. Dealers? Big kill. Kesha Nunu is on, on the ball res? rolling. He could get the res. Oh, never mind. No ignite. The the ball rolling on the on the Hecarim. That's huge. Apotehos. Apote. Apotehos. Apotehos. Fuck! I can't spell. I can't. I can't. You did a good job. You did a good job. Thank you. I'm we got Dante's myself. doing some emotes. Now he flashes away. Forcing the the fucking flash on a gank. Two v one. Big hook from Netherim. Then the Velkos ult onto the Thresh, and then Reptile just dodges the Ezreal Q, flash E through the Ezreal, gets the uh, ult out. Dealers trades it back though. Actually, Netherim gets the kill, and then the ult. Perfect ult there from Kesha. I mean, Kesha these days plays in Diamond 2, but he used okay. to be high low. He knows, he knows what he's he, doing. Yeah, he used to be Challenger non stop, but the TikTok content got to him. Okay, so what we're happening in the top lane, Baldur's is your kill. Jukil stacking tempo, has a tornado. You don't fight the boss on his Ramos, you don't do that. Very balanced champion, least obnoxious tank. Jukil has He's goalkeeper Ramos. Is that goalkeeper Ramos? Yes, I think boss is gonna head to proxy. He knows uh, Raiden yeah, has yeah, no yeah. TP, so he can just proxy and he actually can just 2v1 them with ease. Yeah, I think no I think Baus would be a better goalkeeper the next QC with that Ramos. Yo, don't be too rough on Dante's looking, right looking, for the, looking for the mid gank. Ooh! No Hecarim ult. And phase rushes away. No Hecarim ult. Yeah, just gonna get out of there. Mid is getting completely obliterated now that I think about it. Putting an ex worlds player against master tier mid laners wasn't the brightest idea I had. Yeah, having a having an ex pro player, ex worlds player. Let's see what he cooks up though, because he's up against the, the Scion Goat. You don't Kesha move against him. Oh! Bows getting the, the shutdown on Syndra. He's huge. He's Bows got up time. Res! Oh! Sure! Res acquired! Come up and coming from Yamato, gets the kill on Netherim. Amazing GG. play by tier team 2 out of 5. This is actually an even game. Wow! And Jukil meanwhile is getting played to fire back. GG, GG, GG. Bows is, look at Bows items, GG. Oh no. Top bro. is over. Yeah, like Jokil right now, screaming in voice come 5 pigs on my team, GG. Oh my god, look at Baus, goes in, taunts the Syndra, stands still, auto-attacks him, gets the kill. <laughs> rolls around the ground, carries on auto-attacking, full uptime for the Ramus, you don't give Baus uptime. Then he jumps in like Lionel Messi, boom, down goes the next one. There's what the, the Imiya <laughs> There's a, the a quick sneak to something just leaked. And now leak. we're back to live. What did we just leak? Don't worry about it, that was on purpose. Don't worry about it, we don't talk about it, okay? It's like a new champion okay. teaser. Riot, please don't ban me. But look, no Blade of the Ruin King Yone. Thorn Mail Sorcerer shoes on the Remus. One taunt, one one shot. Oh yeah, he can play. Oh, Yamato trying to fire back into Syndra. She has the flash, she will escape this gank easily. Oh. Ooh, he was holding on to it to drop the ult. And oh my boom. god. Oh my god, Nemesis, Nemesis, Nemesis. Netherim doing an amazing job hovering her. Predicts every gank if they're in time. It's like watching like, you know, uh, uh, kids playing soccer and then you just invited like a 23-year-old semi-professional like, or Ronaldo into it. Nemesis just... Messi. Okay, well. He oh, just fucking... and, he, and he got solo killed by Azar. Oh, it's the boys. Here oh, they go. Is it the 2v1 from... Big ult from fine. Dantes. 
She's fine. Dante might need to read the new oh uh, two no pipper. Oh my fucking god! And that's why he's the goat. And the boss will go for the proxy here. And he that's wins why those. Jokey he wins those. Nah, Bauf what wins those. insane fucking play by Jokio. Did, like, did you even notice what Jokio just did to them? Yeah, he, he Q3'd out and then them. ulted back over. It was crazy. He them, man. Bro, ah, Zuki. I mean, he's the best Yone on the US, isn't he? He's the best Yone in the fucking world, bro. There's nobody even close to him. Holy. Bizang, bro. Watch his uh, Jokio levels in his break time. He's off, off stream. Okay, let's see we'll how take a look at it again. Talk well, me through good. the Yone mechanics here. Talk me through. Well, right now he's stalling with his E to get his Q3. Look, he flash Qs out instead of Qing out to not proc the turn mate. He pulls back in. No Thramos is unstoppable. So he won't drag it with him. Oh and then my he God. spaces Dante's fucking auto attacks perfectly not to die and then kills him and then escapes. Oh my God. It's it's a bonkers montage so out here. So many little things. So many little things going in that play, and all of them coming up, coming in nicely. That was that was sex right there. That was clean. That was nice. Oh, the boss. He's seen an he's seen an angle. He's seen a window. There's a minion wave, and he knows it. Well, he's he knows really the immortal. timers. Un unless Cinder, unless Cindra can come, they can't kill him. No blade. Him. Yeah, she no blade. He's soaking the pressure. He's like a sponge. Look at this team. Get dragon. He's saying, get dragon. Oh, and he's out. No, he he's not. Back he's in. back in. He's back in. He goes even deeper. Baus doesn't. He doesn't go out. He goes deeper. He's going tier free. Yep, that's the Baus. There's the dragon trade, right there. He has no TP though. As up, no flash. Netherim. Big hook onto Dante's. Stunned Dante's away though. Fall down. There's oh, the big ult for the shield. Huge oh, Joker is behind. To kill! Zuki getting a as up. Yamato is gonna die, gonna fall down soon. Oh, never T1 mind. T1 Zukil. It's like watching Chovy. Nemeth is hungry for blood, gonna chase him down, and Yamato is dead. Yeah, having Zukil Nemesis solo lanes, that's pretty OP. Oh, Balsi. Balsi got here somehow. How did Baus get here? How did, no how, idea. how did Ramos get here? I swear he was on top wave, but. Can we get an action replay as to how Baus got here? How. He didn't even How is there a Ramos here? Run. Did he just run through run. the inhibitor towers and just flank them? Leatherim chasing down the Nila, whims the hook, the flay will hit, insta cleanse, east to the crab, but the Joker is already here. Ooh, and big stun dead. from Nemesis. Big, big stun. That's another kill for the Yone. Oh, they're taunting him. They're taunting him. I'm looking at the minimap, look at Baus. You see the Baus? Yeah, he, he was looking for the ultra running, flank. You see that Remus? He's, uh, he's running through the entire set of tier two towers. Ultra flank from the Baus. From top tier three all the way to bot tier one and back again with the TP. I see some action on the Herald. Yeah, we got a Herald start. Now let's Joker, not forget. Joker has yet to recall, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Let's not forget, game two, we won't see any of these champs, right? Yep. Yone banned. All these champs banned. are gone. They're, all these champs are banned. Ten bans in game two. Fearless draft. So I think, you know, T1 getting this win is big, but they are investing a lot of resources in it. They, they're losing the Nunu. They're losing the Yone. They're losing the Syndra. They're losing the Netherim's Thresh. So as yeah, much as T2 is losing, a lot of one tricks are gone. Yamato has still his main available. Yeah, and they still have the Scion. Yep, they do. Unless they yoink it. Dante's Scion jungling coming. I mean, uh, Kesha. Big, big fight in the top side. Dante's huge ultimate. No damage, but it's the Zoo Kill show, baby. On Yamato, getting lots of pressure. The Nila W saving them. Huge Kesha ult, but Nila responds. And Zoo Kill with Ooh. full stack tempo just rolls them. GG, GG. Four for two. I mean, Baus is doing all he can. He goes in the back line and he kills. Yes, Jill. doesn't know that if you hit the Ramus, the Ramus kills you. So, uh, actually managed to get the Ezreal. Also got the Syndra ult on him as well, but his team... Where's the, they're not pulling their weight. Where's the team? Baus was murdering the backline. Look at Baus. Onto the Ezreal. E. Massive damage. Dealers just keeps hitting him. And then watch. He thinks he's out, but Dealers goes for the WQ auto onto the Ramus. Easy kill.
Did you know if Syndra Ws you with a blue buff, you get like a special debuff? What is the debuff? I have no idea. I just know if Syndra like eats a blue buff or a red buff onto you, you get like a special debuff on yourself. I, I don't remember what is it, but I swear there was something like that in this video game. Can anyone remind me what was it? Not anymore, my chat's saying. Not anymore. Oh, GG, Oh, Riot. down goes Netherim. It's fixed, apparently. Ah, uh, GG. Riot hates one. Well, what else we got? L5 can still win if Nila and Bowser just get their items. This is the thing, you know. You think you can win the game, but look how many towers uh, LIP have got. They've gotten zero. You know why? Because Bowser will just proxy in your base and eventually you just yes, can't play on waves. the first scream, like... L5 was playing against a Polish team and they won from like, I think 9k gold, like they had 9k, 9K gold lead, like the Polish team, and they still won. That's bonkers. Game, game looked roughly the same. Bow's hungry for blood, but he's not gonna pull it because he doesn't have it on Dillers. Dillers has yeah, no yeah. plans, so he won't be able to play those fights later. But still yeah. there is a Syndra problem, itemizing full CDR is gonna be able to splurt cooldowns on the Rambos, that's like the only problem. Like, if they didn't have the Syndra, they had like an AD mid, I would be like, GG, you know why, it's over. But they do have the Syndra. Oh, look what how What is that damage? Oh, Riot tanks, very nice, very nice. They what just is that damage? damage? Are they gonna go for the dive? Bowsy can tank it with the ghost, with the Q. Can the Jokil outplay Didn't use the ghost. Ooh, oh, he got the Velkos out. flash as well. Hey, is he out? Is here. Look at Dante's, this is the ball of the century! Oh, missed by the E. Two kill down. Huge shutdown for you. Oh, that's a solo kill for Yamato. Oh, he didn't is it, ignite. Is it? Is it? He's getting spaced. He's getting spaced. He can't move. What is he like? Neil Armstrong on Syndra. Kesha! Big kill. Whatever, man. Yeah, he Kassadin, just didn't auto attack. What happened? Kassadin kills there. Where were the autos at? I have no idea. I know action limits, and if he just ignited and auto and ulted from far away, he kills her, but looks like he doesn't know. Yeah, yeah, there's a second Drake spawning. Baus is like fucking. I mad wonder at what Baus that... is building right now. Are those components for a gargoyle? Oh. Nice, and go ult. for uh, maybe a Deadman's or something. I don't know, a Randwins. He doesn't maybe build Deadman's needs... on the Ramos. He needs Anathemas and put it on Syndra and just. I don't know, it's Yone though. I don't know what he can build. Frozen Heart? I don't know. That's the second dragon though. Are we gonna get a sneaky Baron? Look where the Mumu is. The Korean challenger, Dante, is getting gapped by Kesha right now. Like, this is so surreal to me. Korean challenger, exposed, live and direct on the stream. Early season, doesn't count. Did you see Early Cocos? season peaking, exposed. Cocos, Cocos is stuck in master tier in Korea right now, and he's an LEC challenger player. ex world player. Jungle Who? main. Cocos. Cocos! Who's... You don't know Cocos? No. Yankos! Oh, Yankos, oh. Oh, we Big have an come in. Syndra is caught. She's dead to Azab. Both insane engage. Hold up. Kesha, Hold HP. up. No ult. Huge Nila ult on Netherim. Gets Hold up. Caught. Joker is here. Is he going to trade on... He's not going to trade a kill. They might look for Nash right now. Yamato yeah, yeah, yeah. might just zone them. Oh. Ezreal. In the oh. ground. No. He's alive. Is he alive? The Astro oh. maybe snipes the Velkos. No, as a smart no. brain. And that's the Baron. That's the combat. That's the spark. Is it? Is it Zucker as ult? He's thinking. The fire. He's thinking that's about it. He's thinking about it. He's not gonna go. That's it. That's Baron. For L5. Baus. We are so Barak. The superhero. The superman. He's been yes. 1v5 the whole game. Perma ganked. Soaking pressure. Losing dragons with his pressure. Soloing the backline, it's him Look. on the Ramos right there. Boom! Lands it on top Hi. of Nemesis. World's player down. Ne he screams. Nemesis cosmetic flash, cosmetic flash. Yeah, what can you do against Babus when he's on top of you? He, he ain't moving, buddy. Then they all turn to peel. Look at the comms on T2. They save their Valkos OTP. They are just where Nila IE is a jobber. Oh, wait, she oh, wait, no. What the fuck is Nila building? Why does she get uh, Peacocks and BF? I don't know, maybe she's going like... I don't know. Uh, yeah, we'll find out. Ooh, look at Bao's movement though. He's just out here breaking ankles. Now let's see how they use the Baron. Let's see the T2 macro here with their Nunu Ramos comp. How are they gonna, how are they gonna dissect the map? What is he cooking? That's how they're gonna do it! He's just gonna go under the tower! And, and just fucking tank the whole thing! 
Bro, for our pro teams watching, Ramos might just be hidden a Z tier, bro. What is this? Bro, Ramos' top is completely broken. What am I witnessing? Dante's. Dante's. Oh, that's an int hook from Yamato. That won't get punished by... And he's back! Face and seal it. And he's you think already. Pulse is low, but no, he's back to full HP. They should really be looking for bottom towers because tier 1 is still standing. Nila is gonna go and harvest it. Nila, one of the fastest champions at taking towers, so he's, he's easily gonna absorb it. Where's Probably G2? Gonna... Where's Broken Blade? We need to give this to, to G2 and Fnatic if we're gonna go to Worlds this year. The Ramos top tech. Bro, I'm gonna be honest, EU has no hope. Broken Blade lost to my Milio top, so I don't think they have hope. Is that it? It's over? The Melio top, you've just broke? So you're telling me that as an EU player, you stopped EU's chances yourself? I literally brought down the ball. Oh. Okay, we have an Alin happening. Cash is gonna fall down to Dante's. No, no. Nemesis is really low, still has flash. Reptile, half HP, no ult. Azab gets caught, dies to Ezreal. Mystic shot. Bows, bows time, it's bows time. He's got the ult, he's got the ult. Messi, Messi, Messi. Messi, 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 Messi. I got a Messi! I got a Messi! Messi, Messi, Messi! Messi, Messi, Messi! Look at him catching the tower! The tower. Juki is still hitting or insane DPS. Ezreal ult not gonna connect on the Nila. I don't know if it's a goal, goal, goal though. I think it's a fucking open, open, open. But the Yamato's death is not there. It was a 4v5. It was a debate the whole Yamato time. Yamato plus 600 gold. Thank you so much. Oh Side my god, lane thank power. you. This might just be what I need to buy. And I... This might just be what I need to buy. Oh Did you get that reference? Uh, no, what was the reference? Thank god you don't know. Thank God, I don't know. Was it bad? It is bad. Okay. Is it TOS? No, yes. Right, let's go back yeah, to that conversation, though. Two man, two man, Nila ult, huge. Absolutely. Yeah, he... Boom! The beam. Yeah, he got the bone plating on the thresh there oh, with that one. And are we kill. gonna see a 1v1 between Jokiel and Baus? You don't fight the Baus. You don't do that. You run away. You Look how show Jokiel, respect. Jokiel literally gets, has the timing so well done that he just like instantly snaps back the second he sees the town. But can we just uh, like appreciate when Baus wants to win, he wins. Like, he is solo carrying this game. Oh! Okay, like, Pedro, take that Baus cock out of your mouth. Come on, stop what playing the him, sir. Come what on. the hell are you talking about, bro? Jerky just because he's a better one trick than you. Don't get mad at me, bro. Don't project, <laughs> don't project <laughs> emotions. Bullshit. Bullshit. Jerky don't is project out. emotions. Jerky is playing so much better, you cog cog gobbler, bro. D who's playing better? Zookill? Zookill, yeah, 1.100%. One, one ah, it's because you're just a top lane main. I'm 400 gold up, I deserve to win. Shut the fuck up, go proxy and do something well, useful. Well, 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 yeah, well, Baus, Baus is carrying the map. Baus carrying the map. Look at his jungler, look at his jungler and he's winning! Bro, Zookill has five pigs on his team and he's performing. How does he have five on his team? Yeah, five uh, disgusting swines, like he's typing it right now. Yeah, but he, there, he's five players in the game. Five pig, the GG. <laughs> what is he trying to build towards here? We're trying to get that Gale Force or what? What is he building? Gale Force, IE, what, what's the what's the Yone? Heck. IE, for sure. The zeal is just for like tempo. So he can have 100%, like, so he can have like 100% crit with just two components. I mean, not 100, but more like Where's Papus going? Where's Papus going? Look at him. Just rolling around the map, pushing them back, getting vision. They're trying to make a pick on the Remus. Are they crazy? Yamato has the edge of infinity. Now he can one shot. Look at Nemesis BMing with the Magis. By the time they kill this Ramus, we'd we'd be in game five. It would be midnight. We'd have to wrap it up. We'd be in tomorrow. They're not gonna kill this Ramus. It's not happening. Oh, he just stands oh, there and oh, hits you. Oh, Look, so fair, so fair. He just, Lion. just stands there and hits you. Dunk. Don't fuck with him. Yeah, this is patch where even Shroud is like before nerves. What patch are we on? Thirteen, twelve. Thirteen point fifteen. Because oh, okay. we are gonna play on the Briar patch. Do you think they're gonna pick Briar in actual tournament? Uh, no. Okay. I would play her. Oh, uh, oh my God! Bows flank on Nemesis. Oh my the God! The taunt went huge. through and he's dead. And they have it's no damage. Huge. Now Ramos is immortal now. Yeah, unkillable demon king, aka Bows on the Ramos. Where is he going next? He's rolling. Oh, Reds, he's Reds, he's Reds. looking. I think it's GG. Huge Nila ult as well. And oh my there we god, go. he's murdering them all. He's still going, he's still going. Look at And that's GG. They actually lost. He <laughs> is him. He they is him. They actually lost. I'm looking for W. I'm top, I'm top, I'm top. Syndra, 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 Syndra,
GG, you know why. Look at the boss coming Bows up. Look at yeah. Can we highlight the boss camera right now? Yeah, boss, he's feeling it. Dante's, you questioned him. Challenger Korea, is he really gonna get gapped by Kesha? No, he's not, is the answer. When he's got his trusty, his trusty teammate in Baus on the Ramos. Can we get a, do we get a, do we have a damage dealt in that game? I need to see the Baus FFS Ramos damage and damage taken next to it. That was a crazy game. Wow. Crazy stuff. Well played. The that was well a crazy boss. game. What would you be telling your teammates there if you were on the losing team? What would well, you say I already to told, I already What's the told plan? you. The juggle is probably like flaming, like, nah, man, five insects on my team. How can I win? Like, GG. Okay, Nemez let's go. To, let's ne 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 talk about the five ne insects, five swines. There's five players on his team. He's one of them. Is he a, is he a thing? Huh? Explain. That's the Perfect. entire joke, Pedro. Oh, okay. My bad. <laughs> okay. So wait, can we see the damage dealt? Do we have a damage dealt graph? Okay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are back welcome. soon, starting game two, the second, both teams align themselves. I've heard some comms, bro. I was listening in the break to the comms. I don't know, some secrets. What are the secrets? Okay, two secrets. One, Dante's team is gonna grief the next game on purpose. Are They're they? gonna pick away all the one tricks and they're gonna lose on purpose so that they can clean the series 3-1. They're gonna intentionally feed by taking away all their one tricks. What are they gonna even still tell me? The Draven, Yasuo... Let's think about it, let's think about it, yeah. So, who's on it? You got Zukil, so Yasuo's a good one. Draven, what's Kesha's, Dilesh. What's Kesha's second champ after Nudu? Zack. Does he have a third? There's nothing yeah. to steal, honestly. Nemesis, you can't really steal from Nemesis. Yes. The AD carry? Anything they can take there? Uh, he's Draven, Kartus. Draven Cartus. Yeah, but they're griefing. They don't have anything to take. Yeah, they are. It's a shit strategy. They can't. And the Jokiel is insane and like Camille as well and Jace. So there is no way they can steal anything. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, ready up? Ready everyone? Ready? Yeah, Baus is gonna go down to Scion now. I think they can okay. I think Dante's team can play for next game win. I don't think they need to grief. I think a Scion game could be good if they're blue side. Yeah, you know? they could, they could. They could easily just play for a win. I don't know. Like do not listen to Dante's comms. I repeat, do not listen to Dante's comms. Do not listen to Ahekari Motifi. It's a bad idea. Okay, there we go. We are in draft. Game two. Remember, champions from last game, you have them on the bottom. Not available for either team to be picked any anymore. They're gone. They were... They're out. Fearless draft gone forever. Never to be picked again through the whole series. It's time to adapt on the fly. It's time to think on the fly. Secondary champions are gonna be now brought out by the OTPs. Or the primary for some. Primary for some. Jack of all trades still have all of them. Unironically, it's. And it's gonna Ooh, be Kar is it Kartus. Kartus first pick. Flex champion, keep in mind. They can play him on three lanes. Yamato can play Kartus. Baos can play Kartus. And Reptile can play Kartus. Will Kartus really be played into probably Jokil's Yasuo? I doubt. True. Will, he, will Juk even unleash the Yasuo? He could, but I see no reason to blind it right now. Is it worth to go Gragas Scion here for LIP? Uh, then just take Baus really. out for the rest of the day? Not really, I wouldn't say. That is a Maokai, the wise mystical mm. Zaza tree for, for probably Kesha. Smart pick, doesn't require much input. I, I think it's a mistake if they don't take away Scion. Scion Cartus if he's Lethality nobody, or something. Nobody, like can, sounds... nobody can play. On L L LIP. That's huge though. I think that's a huge pick. He's got his Sion, his Gregas, his Irelia. Kesha's got his, his Maokai. Zukil, is it a Yasuo here? You think? It's a Tristana. Tristana, flex pick for ADC and mid lane. Very OP, cha very OP champion. Very good pick. Tristana. Interesting. They're still not revealing their primary champs. They know they can't play shit like Yasuo. But let's not forget, this is Scrims. This is Intel. You know, you show that card as priority on a game too. Next time in a group stage, bro. That's a card is denial. I, I know I know if they keep drafting Belvet. This is, is not that the Dante's Belvet? Yes, it's, it's not the patch with Stride and go like when Stride is Omega OP on Belvet. Is it gonna be the No, he's just baiting. He's not gonna pick fucking Kasadin to Tristana. 
Cassidy and Cartus, same team. Time to nah, open, he's maybe. Trying. What? He's gonna pick an AD champion. They should pick an ADC right now. Why do they save counter pick for bot lanes? Pick an ADC right now. That's a good idea. That's a really good idea. Pick ADC right now. There it is. The Zaya lock in. He good knows it. He, he's literally teasing me. He's teasing the Void Walker. Reptile gonna go for his Zaya. Zaya Rakan possible combo. Could deny them the Rakan. Yeah. Would be What's a smart Nemesis idea. Here? Is it Tristana mid, you think? Uh, We've got a dodge. GG, they called it. 2-0. Dodge in draft. In Internet screens. issue. Ah. Internet issue. Ah, had to take their fish. And they didn't align ah. correctly. Oh my god, they didn't align House correctly. House on fire. Ah. Oh, wait. Apparently they said Zaya. Uh, they said Sion. The Baal said Sion, but it sounded like Zaya. So they picked Zaya instead of Sion. So they said Z <laughs> Zion. Z <Zion. Ger> <laughs> What? Turn about accent, the GG. I, ju just say whatever you can, like, yeah, Zion, I guess. Zion. Why can't you pick mid later? Zion. Yeah, Zion. Yeah, go Zion, go Zion. What? <laughs> Zion. 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 <laughs> what? <laughs> Zion. Like, what can you say? Zion. 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 Why would I say oh, Zion? No. Why would I say Zion? You said Zion, language is killing Zion. us. Zion is a different champion. I said I must have said Sion. <laughs> no. okay, okay. Lost the Swedish. Sion. It's over. I think yeah. I think the Void Walker is OP here. I think Yamato should play. No, it. no, no. Free the lose. balance Cassidy of power and... must be preserved. Cassidy you and are Cartus, same team. You the are null and void. Oh my God! They actually said Sion. Oh my God! It actually happened. Zion. Oh, oh wait, Camille counter pick. Camille counter picking the Sion. Uh, but can you counter Bao Sion? Yes, you can. <laughs> he will force him on tank if he goes Camille. Can and you that's Camille. Sion? There and that's is. Camille. Camille locked in. Camille locked in for Jokil. Oh my goodness, heavens gracious me. Really OP into Velvet as well. And he can actually carry later with it. Yeah, it's a dangerous pick. They gotta watch out for it. And keep in mind, they have Maokai Camille set up, so I wish luck to Baus not dying 20 times to Zaza 3 and Camille. What does Baus do against Camille? Does he go full tank or does he go full lethality? If he's tryharding, he goes full tank. If he's for funning, he goes AD. Whenever he sees Camille with a Jax ban, which means uh, it's, it is me, he picks tank Sion. Every other time I see a Camille on his stream, he's full AD. No ego, you know? I'm just that good on Camille, I know. I think he should go full AD though. I don't know if AD would be the pick here, but you know, we will let the professional you choose. You know, with Karthus, the Zion passive, the chase potential, the side lane sucking. Blitzcrank. I don't see the point of Blitzcrank here. What do you even grab? Like, they have two suicide champions with Cactus and Zion. Velvet yeah. will not be hit by a hook ever. Now Leona yeah. is gonna come through as a counter pick. Yeah. I just find That's it weird uh, like that they just keep drafting the solo lanes like just blind. I think they might put the Tristana ADC with Blitzcrank and then counter pick for Nemesis so he can farm Yamato. Mm, yeah, I think farming Yamato has to be a strat. I mean, he did it last game. Talon. Oh. Wait, is he gonna pick it? Is it Michael time? Yeah, I think it's good, no? AD champ, everything for the Karthus. Michael Jackson! Well, we <laughs> what do we got into it? What do we got into it? I think I'm a control mage again, like a Taliyar Azir would be really good here for Nemesis. They need AP for sure. Can you do the <laughs> again? Can you do that one? No. One more time, Th one more time. 10 subs. <laughs> Shut the and, fuck up. <laughs> and that's Tristana mid into Talon and Kalista ADC. Kalista ADC, Tristana mid, uh, Maokai jungle. A lot of AP damage needs to come from the Meow Kai. Well, they have hybrid damage on Camille, AP on Maokai. Can they really stack armor? Like I don't know, it's a Baboos Scion, buddy. Baboos is got a full AD with Swifty, so you know it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he does. That's what we got to keep our eyes out for, the AD Scion. If he can really cook up with the Cactus. But I don't know, I've never seen Dante's Belvet and I've never seen Kesha's Maokai. I think my bet is on Kesha Maokai. Your bet is on Kesha Maokai? My bet is on... I hope, uh, okay, I 10 hope... gifted subs then. 10 gifted subs, I think T1 wins. Alright, uh, L5 L wins. Uh, losing... Okay, no, go, go manly, bro. You're a millionaire. 50 subs. 50, 50 gifted subs? 
Yeah, I think the Jukil team wins. Okay, I have 50 gift subs. I think the Bowser's team wins. Okay, thank you for the generous donation. 50 gifted subs for me. Guys, You're did you be, know you could even... use Twitch Prime on my channel to get no ads and cute Gwen emotes? <gasps> what? You can use it on my channel and you get cute Gwen emotes and you have no ads and it's completely free. Make sure to use it. Don't say minus 50. It's a win. Here we go. Into game. We are in game right now. Yeah, but this is, this is for both channels, by the way. I, I don't want to mute and say it, but like... For Druid's channel and for my channel, if you're subbed, you avoid ads. If you don't, then you're probably going to get ads before the game, I guess you're running them. Yeah, but Kedra has ugly emotes. I have killed Gwen with hearts. Like, you but who, who, who has Twitch emotes? Who has Twitch emotes? It's all about the 7 TV meta. Twitch not emotes. every channel has 7 TV. You can't go to Puker. like, I don't know, XQC. You can mount. You don't go XQC channel and see 20 XDD emotes like yours. Or you don't go to like XQC channel and see like 20 Genshin emotes. No, like because channel. I like to free the emotes. I like to let the emotes be free use. Bro, I have like 20 Badlands Chugs emotes. I know what you feel. Bal what? Badlands Chugs, you know him? This like big no. guy that chugs like sodas and shit. Oh, no, I don't know him. I only have one emote that people use. Yeah, I wonder which Twitch. one. I wonder which no, one. No, 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 from actual Twitch, not 7TV. Oh, there is some level 1 action happening. Looks like it's gonna amount to completely nothing. Yeah, no level one here. Come on, T2. This is you. Is it I gonna love be a draft. late invade? Is it gonna be a late invade? It is a late invade and it's not spotted. That's huge. That could be 50, 50 gifted subs in my bank if T1 don't see this play happening. Clueless. Bows big, dies big... level 2 or 3 to Joke 100%. No, no, no. Don't be, don't be cringe. Bows knows what he's doing. It's the phase rush tech that really sells it to me. Okay, he just... Ooh, it's a level, it's level 2 bot two? gank. Never mind. No oh. way are they gonna go for a level 2 Belveth Dantes. You died last time you ganked bot. Don't oh, do no, it again. This is so shit. Don't do it oh. again. What the hell Wait, is they happening? Win this. Oh, oh my god. Then, then he went for a risky hook. He could have just gotten us up and gotten flush. Netherim, Netherim. What the hell is going on? Babos level up. Nemesis level up. That's hype. Gonna get some trading onto Yamato here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He has Damn. ignite. Oh, is he dead? No. Oh, no, and the Bows can't lane any. He, he will have to die. He will have to die. He's he will have to die. Yeah. He will have to die. Have to die. Have to die. If Bows dies, death. level 2 or 3, you prime. It's good death, though. It's good death. It's actual good death. Oh my god, he's just cute. It's good death. Prime. It's good death. Prime to good be death. now. Bro, shit, death. Joker still has more than, like. No, super good death. He still has more leeway to just stay and no, get he's away. No, cancel his base. TP back. He did, but he can, he can just stay. Ooh, Yamato oh, Yamato flew across the universe! Kesha! Maokai, the, the ancient mystical tree, gets a kill on Yamato. Flew across the universe there on the Talon. Liyue. Do you play Genshin Impact? Uh, no, I play Honkai Star Rail. Ah, that's cringe. I won a lot of Gambas on that game. Kesha looking for the top crab, Dante's looking for the full clear L9. Kesha looking for a gank on the Dante, I mean on Baus. Oh, he cancels the Q, Silent no, still has Q. He, he can't yeah, escape yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. He's gonna going try to trade one for one, it's actually Baus possible. Going down. He's going down. They have He's to play down. really safe, nope. not to die to the yep. passive, and there it is. He can't hit the wave though. What it's pushing into him, he's gonna have to just run in. Oh, he got the, oh, he got the kill back on the zoo kill! And the wave's pushing in, there's the no, flash from Kesha away Joe from Yamato's death. Yeah. How oh did my god. I do this? Can we get a can we get an instant replay of the Bows fucking uppercut onto that Camille? Bro, that's a how super death. No. That's and a super gone. death. So Kesha comes up, zoo so kill, well. cancels the first Q, and then disengages when the Q's ready. Doesn't want to get knocked up by Babus. Kesha looks for the looks for the Q on it. He so, saves it. Boom! Knocks him on the Q. Now what happens? Baus. He realizes I can hit the wave. No, it's slow pushing to me. Zukil thinks he's fine. One, two. <laughs> you know one punch man. Baus is two punch man. Bro, Zukil has played Baus like easily 100 plus times. How does he die to this? How know. much? Now he... How much XP is Zukil behind? Look at the TP situation oh, as well. Oh, he's not behind. He's not behind. Okay, thank God. Some would say we shill in. He is in a but good spot just, right now. What is, what is this mid situation? It's an absolute montage. Like, Yamato's death can't breathe in this lane. Yeah, he can't AD breathe in this lane. Arranged AD champion screens. Nothing's happened, bot, but we got a Blitzcrank roam towards mid. Netherim, oh? looking for the first hook to land. 
Pass up. He's fine. Oh! He gets Pulls the hook in. on Yamato! No! Oh, oh, oh my god, what the... Here comes Cartus! Oh, guess, and... Here comes Cartus! Here comes Cartus! It's a disaster! Milking the tree! Smoking the Zaza! Boom! Azap! Yamato is gonna go Isn't in. Isn't that him dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Into the ground. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Boom! What happened top? What happened top? I have no idea. Wait, did Bows die? Bows died. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. No oh, comment. and he trades back. And he has level 6. Wait, does he kill him as well? Yep. Pro like, wh one team makes a blunder into another team making a blunder. It's actually insane. Yeah, yeah, take a reset here. He's gonna lose a lot in mid, though. Dante's. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, how good is Dante's Beldet? Zero. Okay, perfect. So, on the replay there on the bottom left, you can see Babos is trying to crash the wave into the Camille. I think he might go back in there. Oh, he flashes the E, gets the knock, but he has no mana for the ult. He had no mana for the ult. What does he do no, then, Babos? He, he, he just he walked into a tower shot and died to the minions. No, he no. didn't. No, he Wait, didn't. Zukil must go for the what? E. Oh, oh, the, oh. The W. Zukil just E W the him. Okay, lol. Yeah. Zukil, is he gonna opt into Trinity Force or is he gonna go Divine? Smart play would to be go Trinity this game. It's way better into their comp. Oh, well and Alain could, could happen. Be a kill. He has ult. He has Hexec Ultimatum. That could just be a thing. Save it. it for the Scion ult though. Meanwhile, he won't even Nemesis have to. down. Oh, and he trades. Joker didn't even have to ult. Mm, plus 69. Mm. Plus 69. Plus 69, buddy. Plus 69. Delicious grass proc. I thought that uh, water types beat uh, grass types. No, grass types beat water types. Boom, Kesha gets the dragon. But then he's just safe. <laughs> you ever play Pokemon? getting that honey fruit. Mm, the munchie is going to stay in the lane. But look at that, though. Baus ults to lane. Gets the push. Come fight me. Come fight me, pussy. Jukil wins this, wait. Grass killing it's, him up. It's a good one. It's a good one. It's a good one. Oh, the backwards! <laughs> oh, Jukil. <laughs> no, Jukil BMing him even. He can't no, use Zukil's... E. He can't use E or he dies. Wait, he might be dead. He's dead to the silent passive. Is he dead? No, he Is he flash. dead? Is he dead? Is he dead? Can Yamatos get it? No, oh, he can't. Avengers, Avengers. Jukil is like, where is my team? Five dogs. GG. Help! But... But Bausi, what are we doing? Bausi, let's wake up a bit, eh? Wait, is Yamato's death dead? No, he's good. Baus playing a bit too over aggressive for my liking. I get that he wants oh, the wave to crash. Bot. Ah, yeah. Dealer gets waves. the plate anyway. He gets two, we, two, two we minions. Rotation. Worth. Looks like Herald is gonna be given I to, like the, the macro to, here. to Belvet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Team Belvet 2, will TP be bot and with Star the Herald. Herald buff. She can spawn her babies now. Yeah, it's OP. Okay, exchange happening in the top lane, never mind. How much gold does Camille have? Could you show me right now, Joe? There's plus 500. Okay, landing happening. She has 1.4k. Oh! He didn't get the reset on the rocket jump. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Zoo kill. Big shutdown. No oh. flash. No ulti Dante's. there. Dante's. Big knock. He's dead. And that's 600 gold. Azap movement Azap runs in a straight fall? line. Down he How goes. How is Leona not dying? Oh, dab stepping yeah. knight from Netherim. Six item raid boss. They're gonna herald top as well. That's gonna be huge for the Talon. It's gonna fall down. So, Baus, it's actually really good because it makes Baus escape the lane. He doesn't have to lane into. Are you oh, sure? No exhaust on Reptile. He's Look at the Avengers the... bot. <laughs> Worth. He got, he got the ult. Oh, he's gonna oh. go proxy. He's gonna go proxy, look. Oh, baby. He it's the Baus classic. He's gonna harvest the wave. Dealer's gonna kill him easily. He missed the Don't ease. Don't get so hit by the slow. Kill. Yeah. Didn't get hit by the slow. Yeah, Babu's got the... Uh, he got the wave. He's got his dust plate now. He's only oh. down 100 gold. Joe kill. No, 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 no. He went divine. He went divine. He went divine. You've been on a lot of LS Co streams. No, I just a... never I never built divine on Camille to begin with. Never? It's a cheat item. Yeah, it's a cheat item. It's a, a, a divine only helps into Leona this game. Which obviously you don't need help with. Versus.
Well, let's Wait, see he, if it's... He, he, he kills Dante's here if he wants, like, 1v1 easily, like 2v1. Oh, some small trade happening. Yeah, some babies made in top lane. They're gonna push in. Yeah. Oh, it's Belvet genius. Die. Belvet they pick the... Hmm? You go ahead. No, you. They pick Belvet with the Scion to give him the split push. Oh, he mm. might kill Dante. She will have a miscarriage. She's dead. No more Belvet form. She's gonna die. Oh, Kesha outplay GG. Better jungler wins. And now no more sperm babies. I don't know, man. It looks like plus 50 to me. I don't know, Pretty. man. The last game you had benefit of the doubt because Ramos, but this game they have... Oh, he his flash just came back up. <laughs> he thought he had Hex. Pretty. Keep in mind, enemy has four melee champions into insane disengage and range comp. Oh, they enemy kill. gonna fall. Del eat him. Mm, delicious. That's the form for Belvet. She's gonna have it for Drake. Infernal is next, which is really huge for both teams. Cartus with Infernal, AD Sand with Infernal. Yeah. No, we're chilling. We're good. The Some Cartus exchange can happening help the in the top lane. lane, I can see on minimap. Jukil could dive him. No, no mana for full combo. No mana. It's all about just securing the lead. Like, losing peace is really ahead right now. It's all about just securing the lead. Does he kill him? No. What? What? Solo kill. What? Riot. And now they get Infernal Drake, which is really huge for them. Wow. That's a blunder yeah. by Nemesis. Ooh, big hook. That's a flash from Dealers. That's really unhinged the flash. Did he get oh, the ult? Did the end Nope, oh, he's, he's alive. Dead. He's alive. He's alive. Game is in a good state. I just need my boy Babus to get back in it. Farm looking really low for Jokil because he's not Yamat. It's all about him hitting the free item spike. If he can get Ravenous, if he can get Sojin, they have no response to it. He'll just start mm -hmm. running around. But Yamato opting for the Axiom arc. Trying to snowball this game really fast and end it before their champions can come online. Hmm. Kesha's not doing too bad. I expect him to do a little less, but now it's 3-1-2. That's demonic. Red smite soon. No first strike though. I don't know why he doesn't have first strike. He's good. Is he? Okay, gonna be some action happening. The Sion will gonna come through. Tristana didn't get the reset. Camille uh... chasing the Talon. I'm here, lad. Oh, Huge how broken is that? Wood. Oh my how god! How broken is that? Mm, delicious 700 gold for the scaling champion. And now she can either rotate mid for a fight, or... Nah, they're dead in mid. Okay. Oh, the Zazarus! No, 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 oh, Reptile gets off. Well, Reptile's gonna no. die, so no. No, he's dead, oh, he's dead. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's a horror. It's a horror in the bots. Oh my god, mm, Baus, you delicious. fuck. Delicious. What is going on this game? No, it's still not that bad. Could be worse, could be worse. It's not Flawless. that bad. Flawless. Not that bad. Dante's got that kill up there. Come on, Dante's. No, I just need to uh, because uh, I one-shot him. I can't do That was disgusting. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah. So, what's the next What's the next game plan here? Looks like a Herald for T1. Baus just gets dove. The green button. <laughs> the green button. Oh my god. Yeah, it's time to press it. That's the world's attendant Nemesis Slovakia. No, wait, is he Slovenian or from. No, he's Slovenian. Slovenia's yeah. greatest mid laner. Yeah. Ooh, the Q1 into the E into the Q2. What? Chogafuld? Hello, Riot. Chogafuld on basic ability. What is this bullshit? You're gonna have a death. duel, but this time he won't jump melee range. He's just gonna run away. Both yeah, score are they... looking pretty decent right now. Seven deaths, not bad. Cool about to be finished. Navori on Tristana, Tristana a already. Tristana is a bit too strong for me. Could we get showcase on Camel Gold? She needs 2.1k for Ravenous. Oh, she has it. GG, you know why. GG. GG, Kidron. Ravenous on Camille locked in. Yep, she's gonna greet though. Yeah, yeah. No Rage Blade though. Ooh, Baus. Hexacultimatum not gonna come through. Oh, oh my god, Babush, he can solo, solo kill eight kill. times. Solo lane gap. 
My team, my team, <laughs> what are we doing? Oh, Dante, oh, don't come oh, no, up again. Vu. No, there's my God. There's a fool. No, 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 no. Stop pretending. Stop pretending. Uh, oh, my. Uh, 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 okay, we're kind of there. That's a kill. Reptile, big one. She still doesn't have That's a big shutdown. Big shutdown. That's Dodge all that matters. Big shutdown. Big mm, shutdown. Divine. Oh! The QE combo. It's not going as hot as I hoped it would. Uh, the, uh, Baus is scaling, I believe. Yeah, Baus, Baus gets his two items and he's popping off. What Let's happened? See it. He has no ult. Uh, yeah, 100 0. That's desperation, Ignite. Why wow, the silent game Ignite? isn't working out. Wait, the Dante's died to Blitzcrank as well. <laughs> really? Yeah, okay, pay attention, pay attention to Dante's on minimap right now. Oh, yeah. Blitzcrank just comes in one second. Oh, look, 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 look. Oh! Oh, he flashed, he flashed. <laughs> Oh, no. The Valorant E-Dater solo kill. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh... I think it's time to start praying. Praying for a miracle. A miracle face check. No, he's dead, isn't he? Oh, Babus. Oh, Babus. Uh, uh, bomba. Oh, Bomba in the back. Bomba in the back. Meanwhile, uh, wait, is, is Sloppy these... Walrus playing in the tournament somewhere? Nope. The other teams uh. are Polish team, which is Kubon, Ripson, Vysotsky, OD11, and Misty Quest. Yes, I know, you don't recognize a single one. And then for uh, Ger the last one is the German team. No need to oh. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Agarin team. Tolkien, Agurin, no way for you. Broeki yeah, and Karni. GG. They're, but they're not even one tricks. They're a full team. They played in tournaments together multiple times. They qualified into the Prime League together. I don't care about some bullshit Mac Oh, wait, my doorbell rang. My me. doorbell rang. You're soloing. Okay, I'm soloing. Kedral naming those Mac Chicken leagues, thinking they're any impressive when they are just like normal leagues that nobody cares about besides, like, I don't know, Germans. Like. Bro, yes, yes, I care. I would like a big mug, thank you. Okay, some engage happening. Nemesis on the Baus. Baus has no ult, no flush. Gonna get a reset. Can Azza buy enough time? Oh, boom, 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 acquired. Meanwhile, Belved, the, the delicious snack on Blitzcrank. Mmm, delicious. The Zaza root almost kills Yamato. Dante's gonna be chasing down Kesha. That's really stupid. Dealer is next to him. He's just gonna rent him. Oh, oh. One more spear, boom! And that's double kill for dealers. Delicious, delicious. That, there's no way that kills. What? Nice champion, Riot. Well played. Kudos to you, bro. Kudos to you. Well played. You press star? You press star? Well played. I'm proud of you. I think if you pick Cartus, a Rioter should just come to your house and suck you off as a reward because well played you. Well played you. You picked Cartus. Just like any tank player in solo queue. Well played. You deserve to win. You are talented. Deserve everything good in life. There's some trades happening in the bot lane. Jokil could dive him easily with a finger up his ass. This has to time his ult not to hit the Scion. Like during his unsuffable charge, but looks like he's not gonna opt in for the dive because he's a little bitch and like me. I would dive him there, I would kill him. I have no fucking no stopping me. Okay, some support. I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. 1v1's happening. Yamato's gonna join. Nemeth is here. Can he one shot him in time? No, the Trisana bomb explodes. She has a reset. Pierce back down. Oh, flashes! Dodges gets the reset. Goes on Dantes. Dantes, no royal mainstream. Another bomb. Is that gonna kill him? Is that gonna kill him? Another reset for Nemesis! Quadra! Penta kill! For Nemesis! x Wars player! Slovenians! Finest mid laner! Get this guy a team! Most talented player in the fucking tournament! Penta kill for Nemesis! On fucking Tristana! Well played! And that's GG! Baron plus 50 subs for me! Yeah, it's GG. Nemesis the goat. Nemesis the beast. Nemesis... When's he gonna be on a team in the LEC? When's he back? When's he back? GG. GG indeed. You're gonna get a plus 50. You're gonna get a plus 50. Delicious deal. We, we're in Sweden. Or well, I guess we're in Slovenia. Or I guess we're in Frankfurt, to be honest. Now, how well did he play? Wow.
Dantes just couldn't focus. He saw Tristana, you know, the order. He just couldn't keep his dick in his pants. It was too hard. Insane hookshot, but Riona falls back. No mana on Jukil, no mana. No mana, can't even precision protocol. Nemesis jumping on the enemy backline, kills both the enemy botlane, gets the reset, kills the, kills both. Every oh. Bracegrunk falls down to the Cactus ultimate. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. TP to the end. Yamato can't hold. He left the game. GG, FF. Did AF, they FF? GG, FF. They FF? Yeah. That's a, that's a penalty. That's a penalty. That's a penalty. Yeah, take away one of their champs. Take away a champ from them. That's a penalty. Wait. I'm gonna mute one sec. Uh, well, sadly, guys, sad news. Kedral won't be allowed to co cast for the rest of the. Not tournament, but the series, because he might get in trouble. <laughs> With Riot because of some shit I say, and well, he wants to keep his job. There's no no personal beef between me and him. We talked it in DMs. It's fine. Remember, guys, he's a professional caster for pro leagues. Sadly, he cannot be next to a guy as unhinged as me. So, if you have any problem, you can have it to Riot, not to Kedral or me or any community. So yeah, Kedral will sadly will not be joining the rest. And yeah, no hard feelings. Remember. Riot just like doesn't allow you know a professional caster to be like <laughs> let's say next to me. Okay, so now we are in game three already. Keep in mind all of those champions below are not available anymore to to be picked, and we're gonna see first pick from row five. Zeraf probably gonna go towards Azap. I doubt Yamato or uh, Dante's play those champions. I mean Dante's uh, Yamato plays this champ or reptile. So it's gonna be Zeraf blind pick for Azap. Gonna be response with Rel. Might be a flex. I don't know if Kesha plays Riot Jungle. I mean Riot Jungle. Fuck, I can't speak. Real Jungle. But yeah, Real gonna be locked in for losing peace. Now Kesha is hovering. Let's see what is he gonna decide to pick. Jace. Jace, a really good, really good champion. Flex for both Jukil and Nemesis. Could go top, could go mid. Both of them play a lot of this champion. So, really good choice by losing peace. Now let's see with what will Dantes and Yamato respond. Hopefully we can see a mid counter pick. Now it's gonna be Jin. Looks like L5 is going for a full artillery bot lane of Zeraf and Jin. Really smart. And as the Gragas for uh, Baus. Weird choice just blinding him. Jokil still has his uh, Yasuo available, which I know he loves to play into Gragas. Could be a good combo with Rel. And. Uh, Yasuo is really good into the Reddit champion Jin. He can block the shots with Windwall and he can easily engage with um, his Rel. Dilersh is gonna pick up Draven, one of his iconic champions. So they're gonna go for full bully lane, probably, with Rel Draven. This bot lane is kind of bot lane that one team just drops uh, 20 kills on bot lane and the other one drops 20 death. So we're gonna see how that escalates in the bot side. Still, still top lane for Jokil not locked in. I am really curious if the JC is actually gonna go top or mid. Yamato still could unleash the Void Walker. You are null and void. What lane are they gonna counter pick now? I think just counter pick Gragas right now would be the optimal choice and leave their jungler with a counter pick. Nope! Rel jungle? That's Rel jungle for Kesha. He's stealing the Rel from Dantes. Okay, wow. This is real jungle and probably Jace mid. No, probably Jace top for Jokil. And then they are gonna lock an artillery mage on mid lane for Nemesis. That would be smart display. I think Azir would be the choice here. Now, let's see what Yamato will unleash this game. Sadly, I don't think we will see the Void Walker yet. There's no AP champions in enemy team. It's gonna be Yasuo. Oh my god. Who is playing it? Is this Yamato Yasuo and then Gragas jungle for Dantes? This might be... Mid lane, like this might be jet stream Sam for Yamato in Gragas jungle for Dantes. Nope, it's gonna be Jarvan the fourth for Dantes. He doesn't realize it's not the buff the Jarvan the fourth. It's not the one with Gordrinker and Sojin, but Gordrinker and Sojin on the last patch still works pretty all right. So let us see rest of the draft. What is Netherim gonna pick for probably Jokil or no, probably Nemesis in the last pick? An AP champion that won't get completely shit on by Yasuo. Oh. Wait, J Smith Cannon top? Is it Cannon top? Is this Jokil Cannon? Jokil became a range top, GG. GG, we've ruined him. Jokil Cannon, he officially turned into a range top. There is no hope for him anymore. Comp wise, 
I don't know, bro. I think losing peace is just carp stomping L5 now with comps. This is just like not even close. Like, unless Baus just mir miraculously kills Jokiel in lane and manages to get a lead going, I see no way that they could actually close this game fast enough before the comp gap um, actually starts to matter. But uh, let us see. We're gonna go into game three, boys. What is the penalty for FF? I give them a smack on the fucking cheek, bro. That's the penalty for FF. I show up in the room at 3 a.m. and daddy gives them their punishment. Okay, game three. Jukil again, no skin, try harding for his life. Level one invade coming from L5. Let's see what if they can get something going. They have Rel and Nautilus, one of the most deadly champs. Reptile scouts it though on a ward. Is it gonna be a flash from Netherim? Nope. What are those walking sounds? Who makes them? No, but th this sound from Rel is really getting into my head. Wow. Riot, what is this? Okay, so they're gonna do an invade on Red Buff. Let's see. If Dante's decide, will they split map? I don't think. I think Kesha will just harvest the red buff and then go his bot side. Red team has a ward on the red, so we will see. Oh, is it gonna be a level 2 gank from Rel? On Yamato? Let's see it. She has W. Oh, Q. Oh, really well played by Yamato. I didn't know he started E on Yasuo. Yamato yet again playing with no teleport in competitive play. Someone should get this guy checked up. Makes the games way harder than they should be. Netherim hook misses. There's no level 2 Alin from either team. Reptile just poking along with Azap. Kesha going for another level 2 gank. Achieves completely nothing. Dante's already got 3 comps down. Huge lead. Wait, will he die? He's forced to flash. Dante's now looking for a level 3 gank on Nemesis. Wait, he's really low and there is a lot of wave. Wait, no. They don't win this. Wait. No. <laughs> Kesha with the counter gank still hasn't farmed more than one okay, camp. Dante has no flash, just gonna get kited down. Kesha has already his Q and W up. Is he gonna fall down to the red buff? Dante has no EQ. Oh, oh sidestep, there's one for one. Actually a one for one. Well played by Kesha, but also well played by Dante. Actually manages to trade one for one in this scenario. That's actually fucking huge. It's not over yet. It was about to be just completely over for L5. But he manages to trade one for one in this scenario, which is really big. Wow, Kesha, the goat, you can see him screaming in the bottom right. Dante is completely focused up. Jokiel farming really well against Baus. Baus forced to recall no mana, no blue resource, cannot stay. Oh, the league music is kicking in. Nemesis comes back, then have to burn the TP. Has tear. We'll start stacking that up. Plays first strike Jace. I wonder if he's gonna opt into Dust Blade or practice his uh, Eclipse build, because as you might know, we are playing on a patch where Dust Blade was absolutely overpowered and Nafiri, back before Riot put down my dog, we are gonna see if uh, if any player later in the tournament decides to pick them off. Pick them up pick them up. So far it's pretty neutral for both teams. Kasha finally started farming his camps. 300 gold ahead of Dante so already has lucidity boots. Would you expect Kesha to be this good of no no? Did you guys, you guys were flaming him, and yet he's here gapping Dante's every game. Both on the, all on Hecarim, on the Zaza tree, and now on Rel. Would you expect it? I don't think so. Baus didn't acquire a lost chapter yet, can't just spam Q on the Jokiel. I have no idea why he picked Kenan into this matchup, it doesn't seem good at all. Small trade going, but right now Jokiel doesn't really care. Baus again out of mana, no TP. Doesn't have any biscuits, no mana for full combo. Jokli probably just gonna recall TP and then the freeze. Wait, what is he doing? He tried to pull the wave. He pulled it a bit, but it's not enough. Didn't change much on the wave state. Mid lane looking pretty passive. 12 CS lead for Jace. Insane hook for Netherim gets a reptile. Reptile first to cleanse. Flashes away, Ignite pops from Netherim. Netherim has no flash, will they be able to fire back? Heal used by Dealers, but 
can't find it anything quite there with Realm. Okay, some trade happening in the mid lane. M hits the Q, gets the tear stack. Dante's looking for a gank on Nemesis. Will he be able to turn it around? Sidestep the tornado. Kesha is already here. Kesha perfectly tracking Dante's. Every gank that happens and is performed by bad Dante's, Kesha is right there to counter it. Very good game knowledge from the Swedish Nunu player. Gonna be a gank from Kesha. Yamato has exhaust, no flash. Gets eaten into the tower, exhaust pop, tornado hit, and falls down. Not even close. Dante is here, can he find anything? Probably just gonna cancel the recall, not anything else. Jokil freshly after a reset picked up that Hexec alternator in the top lane. Oh! Well, looks like Nemesis isn't willing to flash it. Explosive cast coming from Baos to disengage Jokil. Jokil still has his ultimate. Uh, looks like Nemesis is just gonna follow 1v1 one, one one to Dante's with Flash still up. You can see him smiling on the camera. Jin has no Flash, no Exhaust. Nenrim could honestly just Flash on him. Oh, an Alina happening in the mid lane. Is the last breath gonna come through? Windblade from Yamato! Oh! I was really well played. Managed to burn a flash from Nemesis and cancel the rel engage. Joki looking for a dive on Baus. Could align him for with ult. Gonna be a clean solo clear from Joki. Bad clencher out. Really focused so hard. I was looking the tower. Last tower shot came through, but no. Looks like it's just gonna be a clean solo kill from Joki. And Baus has no TP. He's gonna lose the entire wave. Uh. Cataclysm coming from Dante's gets killed 1v1 by Nemesis, does raid saving him. Will, be, will Kesha be able to trade back? No, Rail doesn't really do much damage. Yamato is still fully tempo stacked, doesn't acquire him, doesn't achieve much. Yes, yeah, some players are turning off cameras because the program that we are using to get them, uh, they say it ruins their FPS. Well, I will give them benefit of the doubt. I don't know if it really does, we still have to figure it out. Remember, this is just scrims, this is just test for a normal tournament. This is not the actual tournament. So, God forbid, if any one of you comes onto my stream later and goes like, Yo, I really enjoyed the dudes. When are you gonna host another one? So, please don't say it. Okay, let's see. Looks like a gank mid lane is gonna be setting up. Yamato, no flash. Kesha is here. Use the real ult. And Yamato is gonna fall down. The Kenzera will trade anything. Yep, Azab kills Nemesis. Almost gets the red as well. What? Why is Zerab doing so much damage? Who gonna, gonna, who gonna come through from Netherim? I don't achieve much. The wave is really good for Yamato. Azab playing really well. Harald gonna fall down to L5. They were looking to opening any lane, but sadly, top lane has five plates, mid lane has four, bot lane has all of them as well. Alin happening in the mid lane, doesn't use last breath, just small trades, Nemesis fights back. Oh, flank TP coming from Baus, Baus has no flash, has the cast. Will the Dealers into their tower, Dealers gets out. Oh, doesn't get the second part of his ultimate, doesn't get the kill, flashes away from the Jin ult and gets the reset. And that's the kill for Draven. Meanwhile, Jace has fallen in mid lane. I didn't quite catch what happened. If you could have a replay on what happened in mid lane, I would really appreciate it, Joe. Herald gonna be pumped. Looks like tier 1 tower is gonna fall. Is it gonna take it fully? Yes, it's gonna take it fully. Jokil getting some plates in the top lane while Baus is gone. We'll get the second plate and then a really nice reset. We'll have TP soon. Might be looking into some cannon flanks on bot lane. We're gonna see how that turns out. Nothing quite happening right now. Gonna be a small trade in the mid lane. First strike doesn't. First strike doesn't give you gold if you do damage to the shield. That's a fun fact that many people that many people don't know. Okay, we can have a replay on what happened in mid lane. Let's see. Jace has no flash. Probably just gonna be EQ ult. Exos popped. Boom. Boom. Yep. Almost falls down to Nemesis. He could have gotten the Dark Blade reset. Oh! Some sidesteps happening in the mid lane. Nemesis dodges the Seraph ult, gets only hit by one. And back to the fun fact. Did you know First Strike is bugged? 
that if you hit someone with the bone plating, with the like with the first part of bone plating, doesn't matter how much damage the attack does, it won't give you gold. Yeah, I know it's been bugged lately since release, but Riot refuses to fix it. Okay, Boss is just gonna be zoning Jokil from the lane. Jokil obviously respecting that they don't see Dantes. It's not just Boss solo zoning him. Jokil is trying to just not fall down to the gank Dantes gank. Gonna get an insane trade. Ult pops from Kennen. Explosive cast he used, and he's out. And Jokil lost that trade. Nemesis is gonna be ganking Boss. Is it gonna be an EQ coming through? Boss has no mana. Oh! Uh, lost chapter mana coming through. Dante, uh, Bows looking for an EQ flash. Oh! Almost falls down. Close, close. Jay is really, really squishy if not in hammer form. Hammer form gives him resistances. But there he switched to ranged form, so he almost fell down to Bows, but very close, very close. You can see Bows doing the infamous L9 book build that he loves to do. He will not buy an item. Oh, there's another book. He really likes to read. d getting set up for a dive. Doesn't he just kill Yasuo 1v1 there? Teleport coming through from Juki, are gonna try to cover that? Oh! Last fourth shot from ult means that Juki has no ult. Netherim coming through, Nemesis as well. Kesha coming to trade. Kesha uses flash. Dantes falls down, Azab has no flash. He's just gonna get chased down. EQ here from Nemesis, insane damage. They want to catch a reptile, I don't think so. And that's a free for one. Worth. Oh! Nah, he's hungry. He's gonna flash! Oh! And Reptile is probably gonna fall down. Yep. Reptile is gonna fall down to Nemesis. Let's have a replay on that. Really desperate dive. They know they both have TPs and that Jace is on a reset timing after killing top. Here comes the cannon TP. Let's look on the dealers. There is boom, dodge, dodge, dodge. Dodge on the... Uh, another shot forces Yamato to flash EQ. And then the entire team is here back to trade. Hooks on uh, Dante's... Oh, it's over. Some 1v1 happening in the bot lane. Ken Yamato solo kill Jokil. Flashes the tornado. Oh? Oh? This is gonna be a solo kill from boss. No flash on Nemesis. Nice. The bug build is coming through. Okay, it looks like... Uh, Lucian Peace is gonna try to respond. Boss still has flash. No ult though. Netherim is here. With the ultimate on Nautilus, soon, still on cooldown, never mind. Looks like nothing is gonna happen, but insane solo kill from Baus. I think that was a shutdown on Nemesis, I didn't quite catch it. Oh, Windblade coming through from Yasuo, but he... he oh. And he survives! Insane outplay from Yamato! Looked really bad when he ulted right into the cannon in and, a cannon in and got stunned. It looks like they're slowly coming back. Really well played from Yamato, solo kills Jukil, allows him to get full tower and a solo and a shutdown. This might just be the start of the comeback. This might just be the start of a comeback. Wait, I wasn't looking. Fuck, I was alt tapped. Oh my god. I'm sorry. I didn't see. Okay, let's have a replay. Now I can see. Dante's Cataclysm into... Oh! Oh my god, that's a bomba! But the dealer still managed to trade one for one, so that's worth... That's giga worth for dealers. He still managed to trade one for one. Granted, it was really well played by both sides. The insane... Insane ult into the... Q from uh, Baus. Baus still hungry for blood. His ult is almost up. Gonna be fishing for dealers. Has no flash on the side lane. He has Everfrost completed. Oh. Not gonna quite get it. Dealers playing really safe next to his tower. Herald gonna be popped. They are gonna be looking to trade the Drake for the tier 2 tower. Tier 2 tower gives 600 gold. Very big for the, for the blue team. And that's a kill for uh, L5. Doesn't look like Kesha is gonna be able to trade it back. He will buy enough time for the rest of his team to come in though. Jukil teleporting on the flank might get us up. Doesn't really wanna... Oh, he doesn't have flash. Okay, never mind. Dealers 
Defending the tier 3 tower, it almost actually died to the Herald, but taking inhibitor before 20 minutes is a no-no play. That's why L5 didn't really commit to it. We can see now both in the bot lane. Still, Dealers has no flash. Jukli has no flash, could be an easy kill for the Gragas. Gragas opting for the Banshee second. Very good pickup, allows Kennen not to just 100 to 0 him. Okay, outplay coming through for Netherim. Reptile might fall down. Oh, he falls down really close. Jukil will be traded back. Re Locket, I think it didn't quite catch Jukil. Will Dantes be able to kill Nautilus? Nemesis flashes the Bows ult, and Bows is just gonna solo kill Jason side lane. And the Jarvan is gonna get the kill on Nautilus. This game is looking pretty bad for losing peace, I'ma be honest. L5 again. They are behind in kills but ahead by 2.5 2k gold. Bows and slow. Looks like they're gonna be trying to get inhibitor in mid lane. Kesha almost manages to kill Yamato by dragging him into the tower. Hits the stun. Can't extend it quite yet. We can see Jace teleporting on the side lane, buying time for him. They're gonna chase down Yamato, no flash, Azap has everything, has heal. Gonna be forced to flash, Nemesis sidesteps the Jin W, sidesteps the, sidesteps the Zeraf Q as well. Looks like they're not gonna catch them. Hits the EQ on Azap, will Azap fall down? Kesha flash Q, Mewe Jukil kills Reptile. They might look into Baron. They have enough DPS, they have Draven, he's the EQ on Yasuo, Yasuo is completely out of the fight, it's only Baos, Baos has everything, will kill Nemesis probably, Nemesis has no flash, can't flash over the wall, Netherim hooks the blue buff, will be chased down by Baos, keep in mind Baos has a lot of CDR, can't just spawn those abilities, Ren and now deals completely harmless to them, Joker has no ult, he's not a threat to them, they are alive to help them in the fight, oh, Dante's no flash, can they chase him down? Oh! Flash coming in from Jukil. W boom shut down on, on Dantes. Yamato might be able to trade. Jukil has no flash. Zeraf, Zeraf ult comes in, hits him, gets the assist. Oh, that was a nice sidestep, but it hit anyway. Dilaj gonna fall down to Gragas from Baos. Kesha gonna also fall down, and this is looking like it's gonna be Baron for. L5 is not looking quite good for losing peace. They are ahead a kill. But they are down 4k gold. This is really bad. And also, Nemesis has first strike. But they are really low. Can they really get it? Oh my god! Oh my god! Nemesis gets Gragas, gets Bounce, Yamato gets hooked. He has no flash. Can't escape that. Will he fall down? Oh my god, can he get the triumph? Oh my god, he gets it. He survives. Will Dante kill Nemesis? Oh, he dodges it with Q to the Raptors. Joker is here. Doesn't kill the... Draven doesn't kill the Yasuo with his ult. Oh my god. It was such a bad cruncher fight. If things went just a bit worse for L5, they might have just lost the game there. Joker looking for a, an opportunity on the bows. Hits the ult. I don't think they can catch him. He just... Phase rushes away, he still has an explosive cask. Yep, he just walks out unharmed. Losing peace, looking forward to securing that third drag before Soul Baos has no TP, cannot join back on the fight. There isn't a single flash available for L5, they can't really contest it. They will go opt in into trying to rush Baron. They have vision on it, they don't have damage. It looks like the call is not gonna be followed with. Oh, never mind, they're actually gonna try it. The red team, losing peace, has vision on Baron, they can see all of this happening. Jukil and Nemesis have teleports. Will they teleport? Yes. Teleport coming through, but a bit too late. Oh my god, that Draven ult almost stole it. Nemesis gets caught by Gragas. Baron's gonna fall down to L5. Cataclysm on Netherim forced to flash away. Doesn't really achieve much. And objective bounties. I think this might be GG on no way. This might be GG, you know why.
both inhibitors looking to be fall, to fall down. Dredge line missed on Yamato's, hit the wall. Jerky looking for that ult engage. Doesn't look like he's quite gonna find it. Shit questions. Are, gonna, are new skins gonna be revealed today or no? I know Nila is getting a skin. I really wanna see new Nila skin. And it's been leaked that cover Nila is coming out. Okay, Yamato flash engage coming through kills. Jerky look at again, not enough to save him. They just did? Oh, I gotta look into that. Professional getting a lot of space created by Yamato here. Nemesis misses the Q, dealer trying to kill Dantes. But Immortal Jungle Champion with the God of Sojin doesn't look like he's gonna fall down. Cancels the EQ, falls to ZFQ anyway. Kesha not able to trade back in any way. EQ hit on all of them. And looks like it's gonna be GG. <laughs> and he's the EQ on Jarvan. Wait, not yet. Boss done is the... The ult from Nautilus. Boss also gonna fall down probably to Jokiel. There are ults coming through. Are they gonna finish off Nemesis? Oh, sidestep, sidestep. Never mind. No, 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 no FF. Guys, we never Nemesis FF. has we never five pings. Oh, is he gonna die to a minion? Wait. Is Kenan gonna die? <laughs> he died. <laughs> <laughs> he died! <laughs> 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 GG! Oh, we have a replay on that. Oh, oh yes. GG. I don't know, bro. L5 really seems comfortable whenever they are down in kills. It's really weird. It really looks like bounce solo queue games. Let's not discredit Yamato on the a 11 kill Yasu after that horrendous early game. Whatever happened to V2. What even is the issue in this game? What is the issue for losing peace with, with closing out those games, with securing and extending those leads? They get leads, but they fail to extend them. What is the problem? Oh, the line hit on Dante's EQ cancelled. They're gonna try to extend it, but he just kills back his an immortal Jarvan, the fourth champion. Dealers flashes, one shot the Zeraf. Jin ult gonna come through. Garakoil from Dante's, he's really low. Yamato looking to extend it, the dies. To the Nemesis, they are killing all of them, they are actually trading! What the fuck? Both trying to hit an Xpeke! You are not Sion, little Brock! Kesha holding him, him down, pinning him down, can't quite catch anything. Uses the Q, flashes away, will he be able to escape? Cyril, that's a dredge line flash coming through. Netherim, please don't die to him. And that's gonna be a kill, ace. Bro. If they win, I am twerking on stream in game, of course. Whatever is happening, looks like Bruce U is back. It's gonna be Soul! It's gonna be Soul! Soul Goodman for fucking losing peace, Cloud Soul as well! Wait! Okay, that twerk statement was fake, fake news. Rigged. Rigged, rigged. In, I meant in game. Like, you know, Corgi skin. Like the cor Corgi Corgi. It's no Cloud Soul. It actually, Cloud Soul is pretty bad. Shut up! It's not. It's not. Cloud is the best soul in the game. Because now, especially with Open Nexus, it allows them not to be backdoored, easier rotations, and they can sell boots later for six items. Cloud is the best soul in the game, along with Hextech and Chemtech. Infernal, Mountain, Ocean are most overrated souls in the game. Type 1 if you agree. All losing PC needs is to wait for their inhib respawns and then and then win one team fight and it's instantly gg such a close game looks like l5 is gonna hard force baron they have lots of damage so they are just gonna insta kill it but i don't know bro Losing peace, looks like they have, like, the scaling is coming through. Problem is only Draven with three items, but their team fighting with Jukil Cannon and Nemesis, as long as they can play with Nemesis, Sojin J is acquired, has Wardens to counter the Yasuo. Tight game, bro, tight game.
Jokil acquired pot. He knows the next fight is gonna decide the winner. Dante's looking for an engage on Netherim. It's really weird using all of your abilities on it. Keshak hits the rail ult on two people. Huge cannon ult, one man on Yasuo. Is Dante's gonna fall? Is he... Is Nemesis gonna acquire the reset? No, wait, two people died from losing pits. Nemesis has still flushy. Oh my god, the Gragas Yasuo combo on Jace. GG, you know why. GG, you know why. GG, you know why. And this is... GG. GG. Very, very anticlimactic ending, but... Yeah. Game 3 is gonna be for L5. GG, you know why. Okay, welcome back everyone. We are soon about to end game 4. We are aligning low on champions. Here, team losing peace is discussing their next strategy. The games are quite close. It's 2-1. I think I might, they might come back. My predictions are on game 5. Do you think game 5 will happen? Type 1 if you think game one, game 5 will happen. I think this game now losing peace will pull out some insane champions for both Jokio and Nemesis and the game 5 is gonna come out. Also, I've checked the new skins. It is with great not pleasure to inform you that N Nila is not getting a skin, but Ziggs, fucking Ziggs is getting a Coven skin, which is, I'm sorry to say, motherfucking ugly. Do not waste your money on it. Just buy Hex Hex Ziggs instead. Okay, we are officially in draft, boys. We are officially in draft. Game 4! Keep in mind, 30 champions are fucking out. They can't play them again. No Yone, no Yasuo, no Kamel, no Nila, no Akshan, no Jarvan, no Jace, none of those. Let's see what those players cook up. I really hope we can get to game 5. Really hope we can get to game 5, so we can see the most insane draft in the last stage. This might be a Kassad in game for Yamato. I think it's time for the Void Walker to be unleashed. You are null and void. Let us see the draft of last game. I mean the fourth game. Ban they are not banning anything. They are banning champions from last game just so it goes through faster. It's not actual bans, remember. Okay, let's see. What is losing peace gonna draft first? First pick. Would love an ADC draft or jungler, so we don't have to expose our solo lane so early like we did with Jace. Kai'Sa, there we go. Kai'Sa, keep in mind this is pre-nerf Kai'Sa, this is old static shiv. LB is still overpowered. They don't want to practice it because they know it's gonna be nerfed, but Kai'Sa is still a viable champion. So, Kai'Sa pick for losing peace, gonna probably go, going to be to Dilersh. Amazing choice of a champion, I really like it. Might even be Kai'Sa top for Jokil, who knows. Looks like the response is gonna be Zaya. Probably Zaya Rakan draft bot lane. I don't think blinding Rakan would be quite good though. But then we'll see the enemy support first. I predict this is gonna be Kai'Sa Alistar. I don't think Kai'Sa is good with enchanters, so it's probably gonna be Kai'Sa Alistar because other enchanters are gone. Might even be Zaya Rakan. I mean Ka Kai'Sa Rakan. Nope, it's gonna be Zaya Rakan for L5. Let's see the counter pick for losing peace. Poppy could be a champion they could look forward to picking. I don't know if Netherim plays it, but Poppy is really good into Rakan. Let's see what the Losing Peace cooks up. Kasha choosing carefully. Would lo Jungle and support champions should be picked right now. Let's see what they choose to opt into. Or is it gonna be the counter pick to Rakan? That would be an easier choice for now. Zin Zhao gonna be picked for Kasha. Not searching Gorpatch. Questionable choice of a jungler. Kindred is still open. I assume Dantes will opt into the Kindred this game. That's what the prediction I am making. Nemesis is gonna probably counter pick the Rakan right now. I assume we are gonna see the Alistar picked for losing peace. Yep, there it is. There's the Alistar Kaisa that I was talking about. Low 5 is gonna pick a jungler, which I assume is gonna be Kindred, because Kindred is still really good on this patch. So we are gonna see what Dantes cooks up on uh, for L5. Nope, it's gonna be Diana for Dantes. Questionable choice. Champion not really good this patch. But Daniel seeks comfort, so he's gonna go on the Diana. Wondering what they're gonna pair up with it. Yasuo no longer available, so not really the obvious choice pairing for a low five. AP jungle, so I assume Yamato wants to play an assassin. We could see the Yamato Kiana this game. I assume we are gonna see either the Queen. Honestly, probably the Queen. I assume Baos is gonna play Queen. Baos not really that good uh, on other champions. He's really low on his champ choices now. I assume that uh, Baos 
pops into the queen and then Jokil might just go rock solid. There it is. There's the queen for both. Nothing surprising. I think it's an angle for Jokil to either play Irelia or play Malphite. There is the rock solid. There is the Malphite for Jokil. Jokil forced on the tank duty. That's something you don't really see often. Malphite locked in for Jokil. Now, what is Nemesis gonna blind? Probably an AD champion. Kaisa, Malphite, Alistar, enough AP already. It's gonna be an AD champion on the mid lane, but what is there left for AD champions that are actual good safe picks? Not much, let me say. I have no idea what could he pick. No. Oh my god, no. Looks like Kaisa is gonna opt into the AD build and they are gonna take Silas. So Yamato can't counter pick. Silas mid blind pick. This could be the Void Walker. This could be the Void Walker. This could be the Void Walker for Yamato. No way. Nobody's gonna be sad. Fuck you, Yamato. <laughs> Fuck you, Yamato. I hope they lose. <laughs> Please lose in peace win. Please lose in peace win. Please lose in peace win. Please win, please win, please win, please win. I'm gonna be honest, losing peace has way better comp. They have triple AD into Malphite, who is gonna fully stack armor, and they have a Diana which will go tank or will be behind at all times. So let us see what is happening in game four. Jokil didn't opt into the Shamrock. One time opportunity to play WhatsApp Malphite, and he did not. He did not opt into the Shamrock skin. Level 1 Invade coming from Team 2. They are on Jokil's back. Doesn't look like they're gonna catch him. Is he gonna get the mana flow? Noob. Noob Jokil didn't get the mana flow banned. Looks like they're gonna fire back. Oh my god. Team 1 has better level 1. Azab quite low. Zaya is here. Netherim is gonna fall down. Flash too late. First blood for Kaisa though. Dante has flash, won't be forced to use it. Jokil gonna huge take gonna Jokil gonna take a huge chunk as well. Nemesis is looking for the Oh, doesn't hit the chains. Oh, is he gonna get another rock? Wait, that's bad. Boss can trade back. Oh my god. That's really bad. And he will use the ward. And he gets the pro I think lane for Jokil is ruined now. Oh no. Let's see a replay on that. Weird level 1 happening for, for team 1. Oh, so, something happening in the bot lane level 1. Dealer has no summoners. Cancels auto, doesn't get the Zaya. Oh my, 5 head. He didn't auto her, he knew she will die. To, oh no, now that he misses it. Wait, but Zin Zhao is here. Kesha Zin Zhao. Does Reckon have W? He has Flash! Oh no. Shut down for Kesha. Wait, execute. Nice. Nice. Losing peace in the driving... Driving wheel position, whatever you say. Jokila is gonna get gunned. He has Flash. Will he be forced to use it? He will be forced to use it. Dante's overextending, takes the tower shot. Now they know they still didn't steal his top side. Let's have a replay on that. Dealer sadly cancelled auto here. Flashes the Rakan W. Zaya here flashes. Insta cleans on the exhaust. Look, look the cancelled auto. Oh no. I don't think he would survive anyway. It ended really well. And if we can have a replay on the Kesha. Oh, never mind. Oh, Alin happening in the bot lane. They don't have... Both... Both sides don't have summoners. Kaisa not really in a, in a position to hit her W. If she even has it leveled still. Cool acquired for Queen as well. So she's gonna go full scaling. Dante's looking for a bot gank. He has no flash. Can he close the gap? Netherim has no summoners though. No grand entrance from Rakan. Still on cooldown. He's the W on him. They are really low. Looks like they're just gonna look into the shove into Recall. Or maybe not. Faust wow, dodges the Comet, but Malphite already has two points in kill, so he already outscaled Queen. Kesha looking for the dive. I don't think they can. Will Nemesis solo kill Yamato under tower? Let us see. Oh, close. Nemesis is styling on him. Oh, this is gonna be a dive. Bows has no flash. Jukil tanks it. 
Oh my god. He's just built different, what can I say? If I screamed right now how I want to, I would unironically faint. And I think if you faint on stream, you might get banned. And I would rather not get banned. So audio is really scuffed for me. I don't know if it's fixable though. Okay, there's gonna be a gun happening on Nemesis. Really close, almost trades one for one. Team, team, team one trying to get Dragon. Bounce got solo killed by Rock Solid, which we got a replay on that. 100 ping smite steals it from Xin Zhao from Kesha, but it falls in the process. Oh, huge knockup by Netherim. Zaya, no flash, Raka, no flash. Both of them are gonna fall down. Oh, please die in game. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No fucking way, man. They both escaped. They got greedy, they wanted both, got none in the end! Let's see the replay on the on the outplay. It's the Q, he's gonna hit level 6 soon. Kids level 6, unstoppable force, boom, boom. Shut down, well played. Kesha died in the process to Rakan and Dantes. Some trades happening in the mid lane. Yamato doesn't have ult, can't really align him back, so Silas gets to just trade for free. Pauls looking for a roam on mid lane. Nemesis has no flash, but looks like Jokil is giving him info that the boss is missing. Nemesis is really good at playing around the timings. Oh, he's dead. Is he dead to boss? Is E coming through soon? Oh, yep, never mind. Just as I say. Jokil camping for the kill pack. Wait, is Kesha gonna kill Yamato? Yamato has no flash, no flash. Boom, Yamato is gonna fall down. Raka, no flash either, no grand entrance. Is he gonna fall down to Kesha and Netherim? Oh. Oh. And Jokil, meanwhile, solo killed fucking Bounce again. What is he doing? Dante has no flash, no ult. Kesha gonna chase him down. Imposter fucking fruit. Oh, the rock. Insane team were coming from losing peace. Wow, they're coming back. From one view and exchanges in the bot lane. Looks like Kaisa is gonna go fucking AP build anyway. But let's be honest, which champion can stack MR in the enemy team? Faust won't go Malmortius. Dantes will probably go with Jaxo. But is it gonna be a solo kill? From Yamato Nemesis? And that's a solo kill from the professional on Nemesis. Nemesis not having the greatest games game today versus Yamato. Looks like Kesha is gonna fall down to Queen Rome. Never mind, he's gonna escape. They can follow follow him in the, the dash on the blue buff. Shutdown for Dantes. This game is weird. Some small trades happening in the top lane. No unstoppable force. Here you go, I added an emote just for you. Some trades happening in the top lane. Almost unstoppable for a Joe kill. Bows has flash, we'll probably react to it. Oh. No. Guys, we have a bit of a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Queen of I shall not comment. And the bounce falls down to the unstoppable force, but looks like Dante is gonna be able to trade. And that's 400 gold for him. That's really big, wow. Dante's getting those skills that they need. This is not looking the best. Team losing piece down 1k gold. There's gonna be another solo kill from Yamato. 176 gold for Yamato. Yamato gapping the fuck out of Nemesis. He has flash, he will be able to escape. Doesn't even need to use it.
That's gonna be a Malfoy TP, no unstoppable charge. Oh my god, nah, but the Jokil Malfoy! The Jokil Malfoy is huge! Dantes is here, they are quite strong though, I don't think losing Peace wins this. Dantes kills Kesha, looking into Netherim next. Netherim flashes away. Dantes get, get chasing down Jokil, but Kaisa arrives here, she has everything, she has killer instinct. Dantes has no flash, and a huge shutdown in the really good ult to dodge it. Oh, oh my god. Flashes for Dantes, gets Dantes, Dantes rolls down the up. no mana, no mana to use Grand Entrance, gonna fall down to Kaisa as well. Yamato behind them with no death mark, no flash, no anything, doesn't look like they're gonna achieve anything here. Better exchange for losing peace. Malphite gap. Let's look at it again. Here you can see Jokil TPing. Really good, really good headbutt from Netherim. Yamato cosmetic flash greets it. Dantes then comes, obviously. They can't die to any of those champions. Kills Kesha instantly. Netherim actually survives this, knocks back, flashes the grand entrance. Jukil applying the gauntlet slow. Here comes Kaisa. Keep your eyes on dealers. Keep your eyes on dealers. Look at this. Killer instinct to dodge the grand entrance. WQ on Bows. Bows obviously no flash. Netherim on the slimmer or higher surviving. Dealers flashes to finish off. Oh! Yamato versus The Rock. Jokil Malphite, 7 kills. I've never expected Jokil to play fucking Malphite, let alone pull 7 kills against Bows, Yamato, and Dantus. Caught between a rock and a hard place. But okay, I'm gonna be honest, I'm calling it out. Oh! Detours. I'm gonna be honest, Bows, you disgusting griefer. Why are you going lethality into Malphite? Do you have stupid? And also Zin Zao, Selas, Kaisa, which he will never hit, and Alistar. Insane bait by Kesha and Dealers. The quickening coming from uh, Rakan. Headbutt, Kesha, hungry for blood, gonna kill Reptile. Oh! Dante's here, can he hear? Killer Instinct for the shield, EOA Supercharger. Oh, he takes damage, he takes damage. 700 gold for Dante's headbutt away. Flashes. Oh. Small issue. Netherim gonna fall to Dante's. Better exchange in favor of L5. Obviously because they don't have Malphite there and... Ne wait, they have a Silas. Silas might fall to Queen. Are they gonna chase? They're gonna chase, but Malphite might come and help. Oh. Oh no. And then this is gonna fall down. This is a really, really weird game. It's all in the hands of the Malphite and the Kaisa to carry. There we go, it's better now. Oh! Queen Recall, Dante is alone, she has TP. Diana ult, two man gonna come through. Yamato is here. Dealer free out attacking on Azab. Jokil still standing, falls down to Yamato. Zed ult on the Diana. Dantes falls to Kaisa, shutdown acquired. But Baus is here to help. Good E from Nemesis on the Baus. Yamato's gonna fall. Baus really low. Can Nemesis finish him off? Oh! Yes! He's Barak. He is Barak in this game. 3 4 4, not bad. Never mind, 4 4 4. Can Nemesis solo kill the Zaya though? Two inters, 1v1. Hits the E. Doesn't have the Zaya ult, misses the Everfrost. Zonia's the fucking callback. Will he be able to chase her down? E and then chain to the minion? Never mind, he won't be able to. Let's look at it again. The escape that led into all of this happening. Oh wait, he didn't escape, he died. <laughs> Never mind. 21 to 21. Gold, pr gold pretty much even. Kaisa, two items. Silas, two items. Two items. Oh, losing the exchange. Kesha caught out. 
Rakan ult acquired for Nemesis. Really huge. Gets them both. Diana ult won't be enough. Oh, never mind. Gets Kesha. Nemesis trying to trade back. He has Zonia. Will Zonia doesn't quite achieve much with it. Ne almost kills Dante as well. Here's Joker with unstoppable charge. Will he be able to do anything? Let's see. Charges on Diana. Gets her. I don't think two AD champions can kill a fucking Malfrey. Let's see. Faust is standing up. Gauntlet acquired on Yamato. Oh my god, the Malphite mechanics. The flash E. 10 kill Malphite. What is happening? I know that fight looked really good, but then Diana champion just kind of killed Kesha anyway. Holy shit, what is happening in this game? I am out of words. My entire chat is just you will lose. Okay, let's see again. So Kesha gets caught, caught here. Really good Rakan ult by Nemesis. Look, both of them caught Everfrost and the Q from Alistar. He just insta killed him and killed Netherim as well. Nemesis bought enough time. Meanwhile, fucking rock solid killing Zaya on the on the side with no ult. Why no Baus come? Because it fucks his FPS. We have small production issues, but they are on my side mainly. Not the Joes. My PC cannot handle this. And I am quite poor, and I can't afford a new PC. So if you could click the Twitch Prime button, it would be really appreciated. Oh! Gonna be some action happening. Doesn't they use the Everfrost yet? Some... Is it Devor going... Oh my god, Nemesis. Oh my god, Nemesis. Paying back for that those two solo kills that happened. But is Bows gonna be able to trade back? Oh, close. If he got the W, maybe, and then Zonia. Oh, Dante whips his ultimate. Dante using Flash to escape. Can they chase him down? Bows is here to help. Unstoppable charge is ready for Juki. Not gonna use it yet. Just gonna rock. Boom. Boom. And there it is. The Malafight ultimate. Dealer Killer Instinct with the W against the Diana. Yamato TPs, but to no avail. Gonna get W killed by Alistar. They can chase him down easily. Kaisa W hit. Quickening acquired for Silas. Is he gonna flash? No. They could look into Baron. They could look into Baron. No Baron? Oh. Baron? Baron, you have Kaisa. And Rakan ult, Baron. Too late, GG. Now, how is Rakan ult called? Okay, we have an engage from Netherim. Oh, misses the hook. Has the Rakan ult on ne Nemesis. Gonna kill the Zaya. Boom. Is Asap gonna fall as well? Asap gonna fall as well to the Kaisa. But let's see, can they do anything? Dealers free hitting everyone. No mana, can't escape. Malfa is still alive, applying the gauntlet. Yamato's gonna fall probably as well. Oh, the ult. Nah. The Jokil of Malphite. Giga Chad! Giga Chad! Let's have a replay on that. Really good WQ from Netherim. Nemesis misses the chains on Zaya, forced to flash on her. She flashes as well. I don't know, the team comp for L5 is just coming down, it's just like falling apart. Like the first team comp is so much better, it doesn't matter they have 4 AP champions if nobody can build Malmortius or Force of Nature. Baron gonna be acquired for losing peace. They all have Nashor, they, all, they just have to close out this game, no more mistakes, no more stupid shit. They just have to close out this game. And it's like, wh what does L5 play next game? What does L5 play next game? Tell me. No Scion for, for Baus, no Queen, no Ramus, no Gragas. What do they play? Yeah, Nadarim is performing amazing. Like, underdog for sure. Nadarim is uh, playing very well this game. Higher KP than fucking Kesha for sure. Okay, can they kill the rock? He's probably just gonna charge away. Ah. But between a rock. And a hard place. It just gives him a slap and runs away. <laughs> Yamato will unleash me game 5.
<laughs> yep, the castling is coming. The balance of power must be preserved. <laughs> I'm listening to comms from L5 on the side. It's the funniest shit ever, bro. Putting Yamato and Dantes and Baus on the same team was the greatest idea I had. I was really in bed resetting my sleep schedule at 5 a.m. Staring at a wall and I was like, I should organize a tournament and put both Yamato and Dantes in the same team. I think that's a genius idea. The third Drake coming for losing peace, objective bounties. Infernal Soul Threat. Okay, Deathmark gonna be used for an escape. Jukil has the unstoppable force. Four items on the Malphite. Will we have a click on the Malphite so we can see how much armor he has in the Mara right now, Joe? Okay, an engage happening on Yamato. No Deathmark. Smite coming in. No flash and falls down to Nemesis. Wait, how is Rakan ult called again? The quickness? No? Oh! Huge hit! Doesn't get the charm though. That's sad. Joe, could we get a check on how much armor Malphite has, or you can't? Oh! The unstoppable force. Look on the... He, she didn't even get his shield. Dantes is now gonna fight Malphite, but he has a pistol. Look fucking Jokil! Nah, look Jokil, look Jokil, bottom right, boys. Bottom left, I mean. Nah! No way! <laughs> Joy kill 2v1 ing the enemy ADC and the enemy jungle. Well played. Well played, Joy kill. <laughs> yep, L5 is just scrambling, boys. They are all falling down. Can they end? Reptile has up, up soon along with Dantes. I don't think they will go for an end, HP bars too low. Jokil hitting the- You will lose on them. You will lose. You will lose. Oh my god, GG. Well, 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 boys. Looks like silver scrapes. It looks like silver scrapes for us. Desperation plays happening. Kai'Sa falls down. The timer search is too big. Dantes falls down to Nemesis. Oh. Not yet. They can't finish. Let's not open our mouths too quickly. <laughs> Script leaked. <laughs> Can Bows get anything? No, <laughs> he can't. Oh my god. The rock. The rock. The rock. The rock. The rock. The rock. The rock! The rock! Oh, is he gonna fall down? The rock is gonna fall down. They're all dead. 15 kill fucking Malphite, man. Wait, the team L5 forcing Nashor? They are gonna get it. Wait, no way. No way losing peace loses this, right? There's fucking no way. Kai'Sa has Rabadon soon. Jokile is really immortal. Full build Silas. Yeah. It's all gonna come down onto the soul, but I really doubt that Team 2 can win this. But they didn't get the Banshee. Kai'Sa W missed, now it's on cooldown. They really should get that Banshee of Diana. Those Kai'Sa Ws not hitting are really bad and she has no Rabadon yet. Not quite yet. Jokil just staring at them, he really wants to get that fucking Banshee. Oh, they are gonna try to force something on Nemesis, never mind. Oh, that's a W hit. Another one. Oh, wait, she might kill him. Wait, Kai'Sa caught down. Kai'Sa is dead. R Nemesis forced to ult out with Rakan ult, but they're all low. They're all low. Nemesis will recall and TP back. Rock Solid is still up. They just have to buy time. They just have to buy time. Unstoppable charge on the boss. Boss falls down. Azam falls down. And that's gonna be it. Teleport on bot lane from Jukil and Nemesis. Oh wait, he TP'd mid. They will go bot. They should be able to end. Half a, half a minute timer on everyone. They should be able to end with even mid wave.
Wait, this cash are gonna fall down? Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. End, 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 end. Hit the Nexus. Hit the Nexus, hit the Nexus. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going into game five of Screams. L5 versus Leap. Well played to Joe Killer and the Netherim and everyone early and losing peace. We are going into game five. Welcome, boys. Game five of Screams. Not the actual tournament, let me stress that out. Game five, losing peace and L5. Champions at the lowest. The champ pool is really low. Players will have to improvise. Not even secondary picks anymore. This is the game. Winner takes all. And everyone is gonna be on non-comfort champions pretty much. What will be the draft? We will see. Place your bets everyone. Place your bets everyone. Will the Void Walker be unleashed? Will the Kiana be unleashed? The Kled? Maybe Jukil or the next time? Let's see who will be the winner that takes it all. They're about to witness history. Okay, they started draft. They started draft. We're officially game five draft. Every champion picked so far. You can see them on the bottom right. How many champions? They are all banned. They are all banned. You can't pick them anymore. You can't pick them again. So now, ultimate game. Game five. What is gonna be the drafts for both teams? They have to improvise. They have to improvise. Let us see what are gonna be the picks for both teams. I have no idea, man. I have no idea. First pick, Jokil. What is Jokil gonna first pick this game? Oh, it's gonna be the first pick. I assume ADC again. Zeri! 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 Yes! 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 There we go. Zeri! First pick. The only good ADC left. I knew it. Zeri locked in for dealer. Top tier ADC. The only left. There are no ADCs left. What is gonna pick Varus? Probably a Varus Lulu. Varus Lulu or Vayne Lulu. Both are good. No way. Is it Seraphine ADC? Might be Seraphine ADC unless... Yes, Seraphine Senna for a low five. I think we are gonna see Zeri Lulu. I think we are gonna see Zeri Lulu. They both have to improvise, but the top tier there, those are actually top tier bottling combos. What are they gonna be paired up in? We're gonna be pairing up with Zeri. What is gonna be the jungle champion? There we go, Zeri Lulu. No? No. Janna, weird choice of champions for losing peace, picking Janna for without against zero in cage. But well, we will let them cook. Looks like Nadering is not comfortable on Lulu for some reason. Azir! Don't say it, Rotrod. Amazing pick name Nemesis. Top tier champion right now. Amazing versus their team. Nemesis locking in the Azir. Yamato baiting with the Kassadin. Obviously not gonna lock it in. Don't give yourself hope. But it's gonna be the pick for Yamato's death. In game 5 of Screams. Nemesis! The Void Walker has been unleashed! Kassadin pick for low 5! The Kassadin! For Yamato has been locked in into Azir of Nemesis. You are null and void. Banger game five. Now draw louder music, louder music. This is hype. Holy shit. What a draft so far. Both teams. Team losing peace. It's gonna be Kesha Kazix. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Now. Boy, it's gonna be the blind pick for Jokil. Let us see. What is Jokil gonna cook up as the blind pick of last game of losing Peace Low 5? Game 5. Is it gonna be a tank? Orn? Or an Ecton? Pantheon coming in for Jokil. Pantheon top. Amazing blind. What is Pauls gonna respond with? Is it gonna be his signature clad? Is it gonna be Bow's clad pick? Let us see. The final pick of game five is gonna be clad for Bow's. But they drafted Engage with Seraphim Senna against Janna and Azir. Let me tell you, low five comp not looking so great for this game. They, they drafted Engage into Azir, Zeri, Janna. I will be surprised if I, they don't get rolled completely with zero mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, 
We are going into the most hype game 5 you'll ever see. What is gonna happen this game? This draft would be so much better if Kesha locked in Zack and not fucking Kha'Zix, but he had to make the draft hard. Maybe he will go W Max Kha'Zix and just poke, we will see. Okay, game 5 ladies and gentlemen, my voice is fucking dead. Come on! Let's go, okay. I'm sorry Joe for screaming, I hope. I hope you have my volume turned down as much as you can. The Kassadin for Yamato. Wait, does he have the skin? Does Yamato have the skin for Kassadin? No! No! He didn't take the, the, the skin! I won't say which skin because obviously I, I opened my mouth a bit too much. He did not pick Cosmic River. Oh no. I think that might be GG. It's all in the bot lane in this game. It's not even mid or top. Mid is not not much gonna happen. I think Nemesis knows this matchup pretty well. He's gonna play really safe. Top lane, I don't predict Bows should die to Pantheon as Clad, but you never know. And it's all about Zeri Janna surviving lane against Seraphine Senna. If they can survive, it's gonna be really good for them. Janna is top tier champion right now. But is she really good into... She's amazing into their comp. Completely wicked champion into their comp. But her lane, especially into... Senna Seraphine, not really optimal. So far they are doing alright. Zeri opted into the longsword start, and instead of the usual cool. Kled already dismounted without Skarl. Gonna be an engage from Jukil, but Baus gets level 2, almost gets a remount, forced to flash away. Ghost proked by Baus. Jukil forced to recall, gonna probably TP back. Baus fucked up the freeze a bit by letting the cannon get in the two tower range. One hold that long. Dante's clearing to top side. Jokil with no flash might be pretty exposed. Will be really hard to achieve anything. Oh! Is it gonna be a kill? Seraphine is here. Flashes the E! And that's first blood for Zeri. Misses W, doesn't get the Ultra Shock. So they won't blow Asap's flash, but that's a kill for Zeri Jana against a comp that is fully engaged. I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't want to say GG, you know why, but... Like, I want to I wanna stay neutral for both teams and not glaze one team. You know, all of those players are my friends that they hold dear and near to me. The bear, bear trap on a rope is gonna land, but Pantheon just has a Kale ult built in his basic kit. So he's gonna dodge this gank and take zero damage. Jokil now gonna get a wave to his side, but Clyde obviously can probably easily crush it 1v1. Are champs random? Yep, they are totally random, bro. Kesha looking for a gank on the Void Walker. With, with Azir setup, I doubt he's gonna achieve anything, but he has no camps to farm anyway. Gonna hit the recall. Baus almost gonna get the remount, gonna have to get his back stopped. No Q now for Jokil. Baus gonna get a remount easily. Jokil has no spells, really low mana, no biscuits, can't regen it. This might be a solo dive if both plays well. He's gonna get the remote soon. Kesha looking for a gank. Oh? Wait, no, don't. Don't wait. Don't let him remount. Oh my god, he remounted. Oh! Jukil had just enough mana to cast E to not die there. Well played by Baus, but not quite enough. Baus falls down. Reptile really low. Wait, is Zeri gonna kill him? Zeri gets the kill on Reptile. Oh my god, Zeri is fed with the Janna peel. Oh no. Oh no. She's angry. She is really fucking angry. So far the game looking really good for losing peels. And you might be like, oh okay. They just let the Void Walker scale. No dup deep shit. The Void Walker is not buffed on this patch. His scaling is really bad. He can't scale. And he is engaged champion into fucking Zeri Janna with Pantheon point and click. How does he play? Baus bot Tiamat just to auto shop the waves. Jokil missed the Q. Goes in with W. It's not really a good trade unless he can dismount him. Kesha Kazix looking for something in his jungle. Doesn't quite get him. Gonna find him in jungle, but careful, Baus can easily one-shot you if you're not careful. It's a clad we are talking about. 
Oh, forced ult. Nemesis is not gonna face tank it, obviously. Okay, Baus being a silly little troll in that bot side jungle. Wait. Kesha has no jump. Oh, he has a jump. Wait. Can Jokil acquire the kill in time? Go no! Wait, he, he wins anyway. Fully sucked Conqueror. Missed the bear trap on a rope. But Dantes is here to help. He has fully sucked Conqueror. He wins this, no? Meanwhile, in the mid lane, something happening. The Void Walker is maybe gonna get a kill. No, Janna with the save. With the huge tornado from Netherim. Nah. Very well played by Netherim here. The Void Walker flashes and gets the kill on Nemesis. Really well played. It looks like Netherim wasn't enough to save. Wait, might he die? Wait, does Reptile have Q? Wait, one more. One more. Oh, so close. Is Nemesis go um, is Jokil gonna ult back to lane? Let's see. There we go. Jokil ults back to lane to not lose the cannon wave. Looks like he's gonna extend the trade on Baus. He has fully stacked Conqueror and an Execute. This might be a solo kill for Jokil. Anywho's moving on. You're not him. Nemesis is gonna be engaged by Dante. It's gonna fall down. Dante has no flash, but the Senna here is gonna be just enough to save him. Wait, the Kassadin is scary. Oh my god, that prediction tornado from Netherim doesn't amount to much, but still really nice nonetheless. The Kesha Kazix is farming pretty well. One level ahead of Dante's. Another great tornado. The Void Rush. Reptile has flash. Will he be able to escape? And there we go. That's the Kesha Kazix. Okay, trade happening in the top lane, but Pantheon E very balanced spell. Conqueror fully stacked for Jokil. Will he be able to dismount? No, no spells anymore. He has to let the Cleds push. Drake is gonna fall in fa favor of losing peace. Drake acquired for them, which is huge. Cloud Drake allows them for faster rotations. Really underrated Drake. If you could have only one minor Drake, not like Soul, but just one Drake every game, which one would you choose? I would choose Cloud. I'm a huge Cloud enjoyer. Movement speed is a stat that is really hard to itemize. So getting it percentage-wise is really good. Another engage happening in the, in the top lane. That's Jokil have... Anywho, moving on. Jokil first time in Pantheon, just completely obliterating Baus. This game looking really fucking good for losing peace, not gonna lie. Jokil is outperforming every game pretty much. Jokil is like... M MVP? Let's assume losing piece one. Who would you give MVP to? Out of those four, five players. Jokil, so far above everyone. <laughs> you guys are saying Kesha. I mean, Kesha is performing. Okay, dismount on Baus and the spear hit. No, but he can't play, bro. He can't play. What is this, man? Roa acquired for the Void Walker. Wait, did Yamato just buy a 12 minute fucking tier? Is that a 12 minute tier? Yes, it is. Amazing. He's gonna stack it for the f when the actual tournament fucking rolls out, bro. But let's not question the professional at work. Okay, Dante's is gonna gank Nemesis. Nemesis, Shurima... Uh, Emperor's Rise, I think it's named. Ye the Kassadin mechanics from the Void Walker main acquires the kill on Nemesis. Will he fall down to Jokil? Oh my god. The balance of power must be preserved. He's playing really well, but keep in mind Pantheon is really fed. Zeri is fed out of her fucking mind this game. Wait, is there gonna be an engage happening in the bot lane? No, Zeri, no. Okay. Jokil engaging on the Baus. Baus failing the jump over the wall. And that's a kill. That's a kill for... I think Nemesis is tilted. I think there is a slight inconvenience. In my words, I would say Nemesis has a problem. Okay, there is here. Herald popped, three plates down. No, I can swap Seraphine and Senna on the scoreboard because Senna is ADC, it's a reptile. Okay, Seraphine TP, dealers here with Zeri and Netherim. 
Lightning Crash Aqua Steel al... O! Yamato falls down! Ne very looking for that Lightning Crash! They're groping for the Drake, it's soon spawning, looks like they're gonna give up their top tower for it. Neme uh, Jukir has no teleport, not, no ult to defend it. Wait, are champion voice lines on, Joe? Or no? They are, but they are really quiet. Can Nemesis, I mean, can Jukil chase down Baus? He cancelled his ult. Two man Seraphin ult from Azap coming through. L I am lightning! And then he's gonna chase her down and kill her. Dante's gonna respond with a kill though, and that's a shutdown. I think it's worth unironically. Kill on Dante's doesn't matter. Kesha Kazix void rushing to Dante's. Huge damages, and that's a fucking kill for Kesha Kazix. Also, Joe, could you turn up champion voice lines really up? Really up? I wanna hear Zeri voice lines. I don't care about the viewer experience. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> now we wait. Let's we'll see a replay. Duman Seraphin would almost kills the Janna. Keep in mind this is AP Seraphine. And then Zeri just chases down with the lightning crash, gets the kill. Dante's flush E response though. Still a kill on Zeri way more valuable than a kill on a fucking Wukong, let me tell you that. The in Nemesis gets the tier 1 tower. The Void Walker! Nabat Yamato is performing this game on his signature champion. Solo kills Pantheon. He has no charge on Baus. It's gonna be up soon though. Now it's mini clad. Zeri just has to kite him well. I think Lightning Crash was unnecessary there, but I guess she just really wanted to secure the kill. Let's see the replay. Level 12 Pantheon versus level 11 Yamato. Oh! Wow, that was really fucking close. Jesus Christ. Okay, Herald, second Herald gonna be pop. Oh my god! N nice anchor from Azab hits nothing. Shurima shuffles on Azab, kinda overkill, gonna fall down to Wukong or never mind, Janna is OP, Yamato, the Void Walker is here, Kha'Zix is here, everyone is here, Kled is here. Zeri just pumping out insane damage, they didn't acquire anything, the Janna is just too much. Okay, huge draw kill ult, Kesha chasing down. Oh my god, don't kill, don't give another kill to the Void Walker. Don't, that's another shutdown. Kesha, stop trolling. Huge kills from... Spear shot, I mean Jokil. I mean, let's be honest. Type 1, if this is better Pantheon, than Spear shot. Jokil. Lightning Crash! Very almost 2v1. Yamato has flash. Oh my god. Honestly, Worf. That's a kill for Azir. That's a kill for Azir. Azir gets a kill being in the top plate. Oh, Baus is gonna look for an engage. No E, no ult. Looks like Nemesis is gonna fall down. Oh, never mind. Azir champion. Just wins melee range into Kled. Nice Riot. Very fair. Kesha looking for that Se Sera Serusi. The Void Hungers. Yeah. Baus is in the lead with gold because he got solo tower on top line when Jokil roamed and he has cool and Jokil doesn't have cool. And it's way harder to farm on Pantheon than Ravenous Hydra Champion, let's be honest boys. The Professional has already two items on Kassadin, huge. Where the Drake spawning? I don't think Kassadin will hit level 16 before the last Drake. Nemesis yes, pro. Yes, Nemesis is a pro, and he, yes, he is 11 CS per minute. Oh! Kesha gonna force a dismount on Baus. Now he's effectively not a champion. Is he actually gonna get him? Really good dodge. The Void Walker on Netherim. He falls down. Kesha doesn't get the Kled. Jokil gonna fall down as well. Nemesis is here. Huge shuffle. I am lightning. Look at it. Look at it. Trr, trr, trr. And that's a fucking cleanup, boys. That's almost a wipe. 
Wait, what? Why did what? Why did Kesha just jump over? Bows? 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 Riot! Riot! He he's this is staged. He's throwing. He bet one more billion dollars on him losing this. Riot! Okay, the game is looking really grim for L5. They're only 3k gold down, but the team comps are insane. <laughs> Wait, the Clarissa had 700 gold almost on the no 600 gold on the Pantheon while being 070. The 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 cool. It's really cool div, bro. It's really cool div. What can I say? Okay, that's gonna be a flank from Baus on Dealers, but he has a Jan up here. Lightning crash coming through for Zeri with Tempo proc. She's charmed to keep her eyes on her. It's gonna run out. Dante's running away. They won't be able to get anything. Meanwhile, the Void Walker is acquiring plays on the bot side. I don't think Baron Call is optimal, but they could do it. They're just... Wait. Five, they're using the Kha'Zix to zone them from Nash. Well, Azir is just completely demolishing it. Oh my god. Can the Void Walker clean up? Wait, let's see. This could be a clean up. This could be huge. Oh my god. I say worth for losing peace. 3 for 0, but they get Nash. I mean, no, it's not dwarf. It's like break even. The Kassadin might be a problem now. Ah! Oh my god, they are so cute. She's so cute. She's just like me. I wanna be a singer as well. One more le level 16 acquired for the Kassadin. And the soul is gonna spawn in uh, how much? I have no idea. I can't see the timer. It's bugged because tournament realm. Let me check on my own client, maybe I can see. I can't. The Void Walker is level 16, it's all in this last fight. Zeri really fed, Kha'Zix really fed, 7-1 on Kesha. Oh, Netherim caught out. Gonna be a Kled ult. Not gonna connect, she still has ult, won't use the Monsoon. La huge lightning crash from Zeri, she's on. Kills Dantes, gonna try to extend it, it's gonna run out. Oh. oh wait, it still didn't run out. Now it did. Kasadin trying to do something, but they just can't do anything. Nemesis wasn't even that fight. And they still completely stomped it. That was a huge Zeri ult. Kesha flashed to W the crack to not die from any dot. Actually smart. You might laugh at him, but it was 5 head. The Hextech Soul is spawning, and I don't want to see Hextech Soul, Azir, or Zeri. I might get demonetized on this video if we show Zeri and the fucking Azir with Hextech Soul footage. Dante has no flash, there is no way for him to enter the pit. Look at the zoning from Azir. Paus looking for any kind of engage, but they are doing the Drake already. There's the charge. Ancor hits Azir, why were they able to burst him down? No, the Shriva Shuffle, they completely obliterating their backline! Zeri gonna fall down, they're all low HP, it's just Kesha and Netherim left. Wait, wait, wait. He gets the remount, Yamato has no mana! Oh my god, Kesha! No way, Kesha! No way, Kesha! And you guys called him a no no OTP. Kesha with the fucking save! Oh my god, let's see this again. Amazing engage on the Azir, the Ancor catches him, he doesn't EA away, he doesn't flash. Meanwhile, Zeri completely obliterating their back and gets them so low. We win those. Looks like Kesha is gonna acquire Hexaxel for his team. Let's have a replay. Boom! Dust Blade reset. Boom! Seraphine dead. And there we go. 3k gold lead in the jungle. 
Gesha are gonna recall and probably get a full item in the base. So let's see what champ, what item he's gonna pick up. I would go GA, but let's see what the Nunu main cooks up. I can see him screaming on the cam. He's looking Blitz, exclamation mark Blitz, best up for uh, builds, and lo looks like he listens to Blitz. He picks up a GA, exclamation mark Blitz, boys. Check it out. Best builds and assistance in League can provide. Bounce can't lane against this Azir anymore. He's gonna fall down. Let's see if the Void Walker can trade. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god, Nemesis, you're so sexy, man. I would give you a kiss. Well played, Nema. Well played, Nema. Holy shit. Yamato falls down to Jukil and Kesha. I mean, it's Kassadin versus two Lethality Champions. He can't really play, even with Sonya. Kesha looking for the nasty flank. What the fuck? Why Senna farm so low, XD Lee? Okay, Nemesis engaging on Dantes. Dantes forced to Cyclone away. No ult, he's useless as fuck now. Kesha with the 11 and 1 KD. I think team losing peace might close out the game right here in this push. Let's see. Ancor hit on Azir! Oh my god! Oh my god! Zeri! Zeri! Oh my god, Zeri damage! Zeri! Look, Zeri damage! Oh my god, she might fall. Kesha! Can Zeri clean up? Oh my god. Oh my god, what happened? Bro, Nemesis, you disgusting pig! You stop getting caught! Bro, if Zeri didn't do like, like... If we had damage graphs last fight... Sadly, we do not. Zeri easily did 20,000 damage that fight. If not more. <laughs> Let's see this again. Nemesis, disgusting pig! Use your ult at least! Kesha as well doing insane job here. GA proc, let's see. I think he kills Yamato here now. Yes, Kesha gets the Yamato kill and the boss kill. Wow. Well played, Kesha. Sadly, she doesn't have the E. Oh, my princess. Where is she? Team losing piece just needs to team fight once. Oh, here we go. An engage. Jukin in, Ancor on two people! Oh my god, Kesha and Kesha and Nethering already dead! Lightning Crash, huge Rima Shuffle coming in! Lightning Crash still online! With Yamato, you enter! Zeri gets him down! Azir still alive along with Zeri! This might be GG. Wait, Reptile is the only one left. Oh my god, he missed Kyo. He's dead. He's dead to Leandre. Oh my god, Nemesis and Dealers. Completely 1v9 this fight. Kesha completely inted along with Nedarim, but it doesn't matter. Zeri and Azir, as I said, disgusting picks. And we might just have a winner of the scream. Four. No, yes, four hours of games and losing peace. Takes it 3 2. Every game besides the second one was close as fuck. And that's a win for losing peace.